All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and inform everybody that we are live on air. Uh, today we will speak about many things, but actually I will start with speaking about uh, Dr. J. Smith. <clears throat> you know, I was looking at his page, and I was really surprised. You know, uh, J. Smith is someone, he spent his life defending the truth. And he spent his life uh, preaching, teaching, trying to, to arm Christians, children with, with, with answers, refuting all kind of cults. And then I see his videos, I see that he have a view of 1,000. I mean, how... That is a shame. <clears throat> and this is why I decided to put his name in my... Uh, YouTube today How a person who spent his life I think now he is going in his 70 maybe I don't know how his age or his 60 something and then he make a video <clears throat> and Then after a day of posting the video he have 1.1 K view Why Why we Christians we don't Support those who defend the faith. Why, if a Muslim Abdul you open a channel making fun of Christianity, we will find after a few weeks he have 50, 60, 70,000 subscribers. Any Muslim right now, <clears throat> he posts a video about anything, doesn't matter how silly it is. Muslims, they take the videos, they share it around, they subscribe, they, they, they support their cult. Christians don't care. Here we go. This guy, he spent his life flying from country to country, standing in the street, fighting for the truth. He's fighting for you. <clears throat> so your children will not be deceived. And then what we do? 1,000 of you for his video? Two weeks ago, one month ago, the video have only 1.6 view? I mean, this is a shame. Do you sometimes doubt that God is going to... How in the world such a thing happened? A man like this, he posted a video a month ago. And we Christians... We don't watch it. Right? <clears throat> Obviously, we don't have to, right? Well, Jay in Lusaka, we're now looking at this beautiful church back here. This is the Anglican Cathedral here in Lusaka. While the cathedrals are beautiful, I cannot say that their music is necessarily beautiful. Nonetheless, this is the best you're going to get on a Saturday afternoon. And we're not talk, coming here to talk about the music or about the church. And as you can see, the camera's moving all over the place because my cameraman is having the jillies right now. What we are talking about is the person of Jesus Christ. And this series have been on the person of Jesus and the Muslims have always claimed that they have the real Jesus. But if you're going to ask who is the real Jesus, you need to ask who is the historical Jesus. Not the Jesus of faith, but the Jesus of history. And to do that, you need to look and you need to find out what we know about Jesus in history. And probably the best person to go to to, to find out who really Jesus is, is Josephus, the Jewish historian who talked about Judaism in the first century. He was writing from Rome, and he mentions money, much of what's happening in the first century, and what he mentions, there were three things that were happening, were three things that really defined Judaism. One was the law. The law defined the people. The place where the people would go to would be the temple, and then the kingdom of God, which what they thought was the Davidic kingdom, was the the environment. Now, what was fascinating, almost all the debates that were happening in the first century 
follow those three things. The themes concerning around the law, the temple, and the kingdom of God, the Davidic kingdom. Because they, were, they wanted to get back to that Davidic kingdom. They wanted to get back to those law, and they wanted to make sure that the temple was the center of their of the in, entire environment. Now, what's fascinating, by 70 AD, the temple was destroyed. The kingdom of God no longer was a Davidic kingdom, and the laws, while they still existed, they would not have been able to be enacted. So by 70 AD, these discussions went out of, out of, uh, out of uh, popularity. So here's what we need to do. Let's look at the Bible, and let's see if Jesus refers to these three things. Because now, I'm not going to play the whole video. You can watch it. But my point is, how someone like this man, who spent his life trying his best to educate you and to teach you and arm you with knowledge and questions and answers, and then we have 1,000 viewers for his video. And why a silly Abdul he post any video attacking Christianity, he will have a 20,000 view in a week. That's mean we Christians, sadly, we don't care. You see, if we count how many people they are fighting Islam, we can count them by fingers. And I'm serious about that. Like try to squeeze your head and try to find who are the those who fight Islam. You will find them maybe five, six, seven people. That's it in the whole world. And the rest of the Christian don't care. In the top of that, instead of supporting them, we ignore them. If we make a video now to attack Catholicism, how many people will watch it? I cannot tell you how many. Right? I mean, suddenly we are Christians. Just attack the Catholic. <clears throat> or if a Catholic attack a Protestant, suddenly we are a Christian, and suddenly we watch and we make a comment. We need to take a look at ourselves to see how much of a Christian of us is a Christian. You know, like uh, from time to time, people, they do and make a blood test, and they do like a checkup. Not me, actually. But that's what people do. Now, I wonder how many of us, if we do blood tests to see how much in our blood there is a Christianity. Are we Christian by name? Are we really a warriors? Are we really we care? Who are, who are we? What do we do in our life? What is the purpose of our existence? Okay, we are at Christmas now. We have party with family, children. We give gifts. That is a Christmas for us. And this is what Christianity is about. You know, I mean, <clears throat> Christ, you know, Christ is about joy, yes, and he wants you to be happy, absolutely. But I will be happy, really, when I see somebody can educate me and arm me with answers. That is more important than somebody giving me a gift. So, if we're really Christians, let us support this man and let us share his videos and anyone who exposes Islam and teach the gospel. Please let us join together and help them to spread the message. This guy going from a country to country, now he, he's in Africa. You know, maybe many of you do not know really the hassle of traveling, going to different country and the dangerous of involving there, especially you are a foreigner or an American, you are a target for many, target for gang, target for people who think you have money, even though he's a missionary, he would not have a penny in his pocket. So there is a lot of danger involved, and he don't get, you know, he's not asking you for money, this guy. He's just, I mean, and he's not asking you for anything, actually. It's me who is saying why we don't support this man. What is in the world wrong with us? I will show you how Muslims, they act for those who defend Islam. This is a Muslim Abdul, and for sure Muslims they lie a lot, but sometimes they, what they say is it true. He says he's a Muslim convert, 10 years, love Islam, hijab is little uh, kooky. 
he makes some remarks I have called him on two but CP David Wood uh, CP I think he means CP and David Wood are like the are liars and common it's of those reason they fail so miserably the answer for the, the questions is uneasy <clears throat> I think he was making comment about my video there I didn't know what we were saying the answer to the question is so easy debate was viewed he's talking about debate between David Wood and hijab the debate was viewed 163,000 time in act 17 and over 700,000 time on hijab okay now listen <clears throat> uh, why this is true why this is happening why we are a lot more than the Muslims you know a lot more we are more than twice more than the Muslims in number so if this is true I the Muslims will have a view of 700,000 and 163,000 in David Wood what is the problem and by the way he is exaggerating for sure because he said this six hours ago and Muslims always lie uh, I see now in the front of me it says 600,000 91,000 in Muhammad hijab and this is the two pages so the question is why the Muslims they share videos of a debate to the point they have 691,000 K and then we Christians we have 162 K I will leave that for you now this guy he for sure the Muslims they claim that they made victory in this debate for me I, I believe that this this uh, this debate was a price test at least for me because now anytime I will see hijab I will humil humiliate him and his prophet because of what he said he is the one who said for 4,000 years not a single Jew did worship another God beside the God who is interest instructed to to worship while in the Quran the Quran says that the Jews and the Christians they worship a man the Christian they worship Jesus as son of God and the Jews they worship a man his name is Uzair which means hijab he supported us confirming that Islam is a false religion but because the Muslims and this is what you are talking about the Muslim they support you it doesn't matter how stupid you are as long as you are defending Islam Muslim they support you and this is the difference between us as a Christians and the Muslims the Muslim they support Muslim it doesn't matter even if you are certified donkey like hijab who just confirmed to us that Muhammad is a big fat liar by saying for 4,000 years 4,000 years not a single rabbi who is instructed to worship God alone believe in more than one God 4,000 years which means since the time on Moses and even before until now so he got his prophet busted that he is a liar but as you see the Muslims because they are you know blind follow blind and as long as you are blind and you are supporting the blind the blind support the blind and here the blind is not about blind physically don't take me wrong it is about the blind in a spiritual meaning how in the world you Muslims you agree and you support such a man who said it clearly that your prophet is a big fat liar <clears throat> because in the front of us chapter 9 verse number 30 and 31 says it clearly that the Christians and the Jews they worship son of God and the Christian and the Jews even they took their rabbis and their monks as gods beside Allah so when this guy he say what he said he just ex exposed your prophet to be a false prophet because either now we have to believe in what uh, this uh, hijab is said or we have to believe in what the Quran but as I said the Muslim they support you it doesn't matter what you say as an example Zakir Naik he make fun of them he make fun of Muhammad he make fun of Islam but it doesn't matter his name is Zakir Naik he was defend Islam so we support him when they ask Zakir Naik why in, in Islam women they don't have version he said 
in the Quran, the word who is the plural women. And it is possible that it is for male and female. Therefore, who said that the Muslim women he will not have hur, which means your mother, she will have 72 men to F her. Good for you. And you are clapping. Hey. <laughs> Those are the Muslims. They support, they support you. It doesn't matter what you say. It doesn't matter how stupid what you say. It doesn't matter how insulting to Islam what you say. Just say something to defend Islam. When hijab, he said, Allah, he pray for, not not to. It's still the Muslim, hey, amazing, you know? So this is the difference between Christians and Muslims. You know, one day, once, a Muslim guy, he was in my with me in school, in my age almost. He said to me, we have uh, faith, but we don't have God. You have God, and he was talking about us as Christians, not about me. You have faith, you have God, but you don't have faith. I did not really understand what he's saying at that moment. Hmm. They have faith, but they don't have God. We have God, but we don't have faith. Interesting. After a few years after, you know, we became like more close uh, to talk in, in private about religion and I said to him you said to me that few years ago and I still I remember it but he did not explain to me what you meant he said let me tell you I believe that the God of the Christians is the true God but Christians don't support their God I believe that we Muslims we are really pagan but we support our pagan God So my friend, how you as a Christian play your role in, in life as a Christian, what do you want to be? Why the Muslims, they swarm the internet? If I go right now and see how many people posting against Christianity, English. How many Christians are answering the Muslims? Few. You know, I notice that because we believe that Islam is a stupid, so we decide not to answer the stupid, which is wrong. And if you are not willing to spend some of your time to respond to the stupidity, well, at least share the answers which is made by, by, by Christians, like J. Smith as an example. Okay, you have no time, but here we go. We have a warrior who is speaking, you know, uh, uh, he have knowledge, he can, he, can, he can give a proofs, he can give reference. What we will lose, if we click at his video and we share his video I mean what we will lose why they have 600,000 view and we don't have that why this guy he have 1666 imagine 666 Look like I pick it up in the perfect time. The Antichrist is fighting us, huh? And we help the Antichrist without knowing. A man like this, he spent his life reading, studying, so he can say something to you. A guy in his age, he stay home, he retired. He is old enough, you know. And he do not need to be in the street traveling from country to country and he might get some diseases or get uh, some, you know, somebody stab him, kidnap him. You never know. So I hope that we as a Christians will do better. When you see a Christian person defending the faith, subscribe. Help him share his video. You do not need you do not need an invitation from him to say that to you. I mean, use your common sense. Use your common sense. And I'm assuming that all of us we have common sense, right? Now let us go and see some comments made by Muslims so we can laugh a little bit. <clears throat> 
uh, this Muslim he says your children become Muslims they can still have Jesus first my friend this is very stupid of you to say because in Islam you don't have any kind of Jesus and actually this is what the video here of Jay Smith was speaking about which is good because when you say in you Muslims you have Jesus but the Jesus you have was a failure so what Jesus you don't even know his name if we search in the whole Quran we will not find where is the word Jesus is located we cannot find it there's no Jesus you have a guy his name is Isa and no Arab no Arab Christian no Hebrew nobody knows what the name Isa is coming from so who is Jesus for you Jesus in the Quran his name is Isa he is the son of Mary and he is the nephew of Moses and his grandfather is Umran and this is the same father of Moses so what Isa are talking about when you say to me that we are proud and I love to be uh, I love Islam that's because you are a donkey certified donkey when a, when a prophet he says to you like a man if a man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy obviously you have to be a donkey to believe in that so you love a stupidity my friend you don't love Islam how in the world you believe in such a religion let us see Let us see. Let us love together as some statements of Muhammad. I don't know which statement I will quote for you. Maybe a prophet who was bewitched. I love it. I love it that my prophet was bewitched. You see, Isa, the one we have, when he woke by somebody he have a demon the demon they scream they say what we did for you the son of god please leave us alone in your religion you are a prophet himself muslim don't believe in demon by the way they believe in magic so and they believe in genie so in your religion you have a prophet who ha, who was bewitched while in your cult jesus the christ shaitan cannot even touch him your prophet was bewitched which means the shaitan is within his blood your prophet he said that shaitan he run in the blood of a human the running of his blood you see it so how Muhammad was possessed by the devil unless according to your prophet he was running in his blood so you say to me you love Islam because you're ignorant not because really I mean the stupidity maybe you love Islam because you have to have you like to have multi women in the bed there's many men they enjoy uh, you know such a kind of sex, uh, fantasy sexuality that he is the king and many women are around him one is that touching him here the other one touching him there the other one is doing massage for him and the other one is doing belly dancing uh, I don't know what the reason you love Islam for but obviously it cannot be a good reason can you find me one good reason to love Islam you cannot I challenge any Muslim to show me one good reason to love Islam. What is the reason? Is it because it's a stupid religion? Is it because it is a mad religion? It's because it's a sexual religion? What is that? Let me open my Skype in case any Muslim women would like or man would like to call us. Let us say a brave one who have the courage and the knowledge. <coughs> okay, we are logging in Skype. And we are in Skype. Any Muslim would like to call us? Feel free, please. Uh, 
Uh, all right. I have a message here from somebody saying to me in Skype. Uh, this is a speaker corner. His name is Hashim Abdul. He says, arguing original sin, says uh, no original sin in Islam and babies go to heaven. Okay, let us see if this is true. Just to show you why Muslims they love Islam because they, you know they are stupid, they don't know what Islam is about. The second you say in Islam there is no heaven and, and there is no sin for babies and there is no original sin, that's mean you are stupid. Let me show you original sin from your prophet. Oh, hold on, you didn't see the screen. Hold on, it's my fault. Forgive me. All right. As you see here, it shows. Let us go up a little bit. Hold on. Okay. Hey, bro. Give me a second, please, and you can call me. Uh, this is Speaker Corner, Abdul Hashim. I think we call him Abdul. His name is Hashim. Arguing that original sin says no original sin in Islam and babies goes to heaven. All right. Is that true? Absolutely. This is false. Hello? Hello. Yes. Yes. You hear me? Uh, hello. Man, look, hello. Oh, can you hear me? Oh, it was my Skype when I opened it first time. The sound doesn't work. You hear me now? Oh yeah, yeah. All right. How I how I help you, my friend? Um. Uh. Could you uh debunk for me the eternal waves miracle in the Quran in the chapter twenty four verse forty? Eternal wave in the Quran. Yeah, I want I want that debunked. Chapter what? Chapter 24, verse uh, verse 40. Chapter 24, verse number 40. All right. Yeah. Okay, no I problem, bet. my friend. I will I will answer you after we finish this uh, this one. You said eternal right. wave, right? Eternal wave? What, is, what eternal wave mean? Um, scientists found that there is waves uh, stacked up each other mm. in, a, in the Quran, it seems that it says that, but I want you to debunk it. No problem, my friend. Thank you very much. All right. Now, let us finish first with the with the original sin, just to show you how ignorant Muslims are. This is your prophet proving that he himself he believed in original sin. Sahih Muslim, Sahih Al-Bukhari, you name it. This is all a Sahih Hadith, as you see. You see it? This is Sahih Hadith. So you cannot play and say, I don't believe in this, and etc. All right? Okay. All those Hadith are Sahih. Now. And I will show you that even how Muhammad he believed that the real God of Islam is the devil. Uh, Muhammad he said, not me. But for the Israeli, uh, but for the Israeli, which means if there is no Jews, meat would not decay, and but for Eve, wives would never betray their husbands. So your prophet saying it clearly that the reason a woman she betray her husband is she inherited that from Eve. Why a woman today she betray her husband? Because according to your prophet, Eve did that. If not Eve, women today they will not do it. So you must not believe in the original sin. And that is showing us the, the ignorance and the stupidity of Islam. 
Muslim, they have big mouth. They keep repeating things they do not understand. When their books proving them wrong, proving that Islam is a stupid cult. And how you say to me, you don't believe in original sin, and but your prophet he says this. And now you see, this is Sahih. What you will say to me, this is not Sahih. Call me and say this is not Sahih. I will, I will spank you, literally. Literally, I will spank you. As you see, this is Sahih Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. I can show you from ton of uh, reference. This is Sahih Muslim. So the claim of sin goes back to Eve. Is that original sin or this is something else? By the way, we don't believe in that. We believe that Adam and Eve, both they commit sin, not only Eve. But obviously, Muhammad, he always blamed the women for all sin. This is why Muhammad, he says that women, and this is how he see his mother and his wives and his daughters if they have any that Muhammad he claimed that women they come and they advance in the shape of shaitan he said the women she come in the image of shaitan and she retreat in the image of shaitan so women in Islam is a pure shaitan and this is why we see that Muhammad he claimed that original sin goes back all the way to Eve but not to Adam now Muhammad as an idiot he don't hesitate to contradict himself how a second ago you just said to us if no Eve no women betray her husband and then you say to us that there was a debate between Adam and Moses And Moses accused Adam that because of you we were out of heaven which mean Moses believe in original sin read carefully with me and by the way the funny here that this debate happened after both they die which means Moses he died and yet he is not a Muslim as the Muslim claim because as we heard the Muslim they keep saying we Muslim don't believe in original sin now this is a prophet of God the Muslim they claim that he is a Muslim his name is Moses how Moses he asked Adam such a question if you don't believe in the original sin read carefully with me and love Adam and Moses they argue together okay what is the argument Moses says to Adam oh Adam you are our father who disappointed us and turned us out of paradise so obviously Moses he believe in the same belief of Christianity original sin Moses he spent his life as a prophet and looked like his God and the Muslim they claim that the God of Moses is the same God of, of, of the Jews but look here Moses he died and yet his God Allah he never told him that you are wrong how stupid is that if a prophet of God himself do not know what if original sin is right or wrong who is going to know are we listening guys are we listening here Muhammad he proved to us that Moses cannot be a prophet and Moses cannot be a Muslim because if he is a Muslim prophet then he should be in total agreement with Muhammad believe which Muhammad himself he contradict himself because we showed you where Muhammad he says if no Eve no woman will betray her husband so Muhammad in, in one hand he deny original sin And one hand he approve it. In one hand he says Moses is a prophet of Allah. In one hand he says no Moses, he's an idiot. He do not know even what original sin is. And this is why we say Islam is a very stupid cult. And one of the signs of a stupid cult, it cannot stand its its, its own words. This is why the Quran says, if this book is not from Allah, you will find a lot of contradiction. And then here you will see that Moses he said after Moses he said that sorry Adam he said to Moses are you 
are you? Do you blame me for action which Allah had written in my fate 40 years before my creation? And here again, we see the stupidity of Muhammad. Why? We just showed you Muhammad the claim that Eve, she betrayed her husband. Right? But here, he says nobody betray anyone. It was written by Allah 40 years before the creation of Adam that Allah he made a plan for him as a fate that he will commit sin. Are we listening, guys? Do you see how stupid that is? Anyone did not understand yet? Who do not understand? Do you see how stupid this is? How this man can be a prophet of God? You have to be certified donkey. You get your certification from a Christian prince with the stamp of his horse. Donkey. If Allah is the one who wrote the fate of Adam and his sin and you cannot blame him for his sin, so why you are blaming Eve for betraying her husband if this is was something written by Allah, by the fate of Allah for Adam and Eve anyway? This is why in China they say he lived as a donkey he never came back as a horse. Now, a Muslim he says that a child he will not go to hell, he go to heaven in Islam. Well, this is logical actually that a child should go to heaven. I agree. That's why Jesus said if we could not be the same as those little ones, we will not enter the kingdom of, 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 of God. But not in Islam, my friend. You're a prophet, he got himself busted and he got you busted again. You're a prophet that he claimed that it is all about fate, have nothing to do with sin. A child he died, and he uh, Aisha and Muhammad they want to the funeral of a child, and this is a Sahih hadith, as you see. Muslim cannot say this is a weak hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. Hadith number two, two, sorry, two six six two B. By the way, in Arabic, those numbers are not, not the same. Aisha, she said, after they went to a funeral, chapter of meaning of every child is born in the state of fitra. You know what? Is it Muhammad, he said, that every child is born as a Muslim? Okay. And the Muslims agree. No problem. So every child is born as a Muslim. That means this child is a Muslim for sure because even a Christian child according to Muhammad he is born as a Muslim and then his family make him a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu or etc but look what happened here this is a child from a Muslim family which means he is born a Muslim by birth as Muhammad claimed everyone is everybody is born as a Muslim and his family are Muslims but he is an infant he's a little child Aisha she said confirming his age saying that he is very very little Aisha, she said, there is a happiness for this child who is born from among the birds of paradise. Thereupon, Allah Messenger said, don't you know that Allah created for paradise or the paradise and he created the hell and he created the, 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 the world of the hell, uh, uh, you know, which mean to explain it more, we have to go to different hadith. Maybe here is not really clear. What Muhammad here is saying, Allah created for paradise people who they are not yet are created, which means decision is already made. It's a fate. It's not about sin. Aisha, she think that this is a child. He will be bird of the birds of paradise because he never reached the age of sin. Read carefully. She said, there is a happiness in the, uh, for this child. Who is a bird from the birds of paradise for it commit no sin nor has reached the age when one can commit a sin so this is very clear now he never commits sin he cannot even be a sinner he is a very baby he said aisha per adventure it may be the otherwise which means it might be he go to hell not to heaven it might be the otherwise the opposite because god created for paradise 
those who are fit for it while they wear in their father backbone not lions here this is a translation by the way is false and he created for hell those who are to go to hell he created them for hell while they wear in their father backbone so Muhammad claimed that you are your this the decision about you where to go what you will be is made before he created you it doesn't matter you commit sin or not as you see the baby here never commits sin. so why why is it possible he will go to hell what is this what is the reason of possibility that you will go to hell because Islam is not about you go to hell because you commit sin it's about faith Islam is a stupid religion which is stupid cult full of contradiction and nothing there makes sense here we go we have a child who never commits sin and Aisha she thinks that this child he will go to heaven because he never commits sin but Islam who care who said that you go to heaven because you commit sin or not that really not the reason as you see actually Muhammad he said in different hadith that if you don't commit sin Allah will destroy you Allah will destroy you and will bring someone he commits sin Do you see the stupidity of Muhammad? This is Sahih Muslim 2749. Muhammad is speaking, not me. He said, By him is who hand is my life. Muhammad is swearing now, taking an oath. This is serious. This is not a joke. And you know, when Muhammad is swearing, it means he is going to make a big poo, poo If you were not to commit sin, Allah would sweep you out of existence. And he would replace you by those who would commit sin and seek forgiveness. Have you ever heard of a madness like this before? Isn't it this is a contradiction for the Quran? Muhammad in the Quran he says that God he's taking the story from the Old Testament about the flood of Noah the flood of Noah is what is about people commit sin so God destroy all of them Muhammad here is saying the opposite if you don't commit sin God will bring the flood of Noah Do you see it? So how you can follow such a man who is really a certified stupid in every statement he say? Any Muslim? Islam is a collection of stupid stories. None of them make sense. Can you answer your phones? My friend, I don't have a phone. I'm using Skype and nobody call me. If you call me, people will hear it. My Skype is in my computer and the sound is connected to my computer. So people will hear you if you call me. Any Muslim would like to call us? What do you mean you are dialing? Okay, give me your name. I will call you. Give me your name in Skype, my friend. Give me your account in Skype. I will find you and I will call you. No problem. Do we have any Muslim? Now, we go to the request of the gentleman who called, speak about the waves. All right. He says, or like outer darkness in the deep sea. 
there cover it wave above which another wave above what is what, what is a cloud you see in the the easiest way to understand what the Quran is saying is to go and see what the Muslims they say about this verse and then you will see that the Muslims today they try to make it match with something the Quran never meant to say and this is always what the Muslims do all right so if we go in the Quran <coughs> If we go uh, in, this is Ibn Kathir, and by the way, Ibn Kathir, compared to others, he is a modern scholar because he came long after Muhammad. So this guy, he tried always to make Islam look like a smart religion. He lived between the Syrian, who they are very well educated compared to the rest of the Muslims. So he is, let us say, he is a lot more educated than the rest, and he tried to come with a smart argument, tried to promote Islam. Ibn Kathir, he did not explain the Quran to explain the Quran. He ex he made interpretation to defend the Quran. And actually, this is the purpose of all interpretation. So, in chapter 24, verse number 40, okay, we have to go from 39. Let us see. Here we go. Or like the darkness in vast deep sea, overwhelmed with waves, topped by waves, topped by dark cloud, darkness upon darkness. If a man stretches out his hand, he cannot hardly see. Meaning, he can hardly see. It, he can hardly see it because it is intensely dark. My friend, first of all, in the deep sea. You cannot even see your hand if this is what meant about darkness well it's not it's not uh, it's not really I mean a mystery that if you go dive the more you dive the more it's going to get dark that is not really a science it's very easy to know and then he said this is a parable for the heart of the disbelievers whose ignorance in simple who merely flows and does not know the true nature of the one who whom they follow as you see here this is not about science this is about parable supposedly but let us continue maybe we can find science somewhere he involved in five types of darkness darkness upon darkness his speech is darkness his deeds are darkness his coming in is a darkness his going out of uh, is darkness and his destiny on the day of resurrection will be darkness so as you see here have nothing to do with the sea with the ocean it's not nothing to do with that and then to confirm that Ibn Kathir he quote for you the verse says and the one who made Allah for him no appointed light there's no light for him so this is have nothing to do with science have nothing to do with the waves eternal waves waves in the top of waves This is a lie if we go in the verses on the Quran, we will find the following As if it is it's not even about an ocean Or this is why the translator he says or like the likeness, okay, and then he says which means uh, 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 like a crazy, uh, crazy uh, ocean. And then he says, This is not about waves in the top of each other. This is about waves. They keep coming. You see, when we see the waves, we see one is coming and dying. And then there is other way, a, a wave is coming in the top. This is not about the deep sea. And we, this is what we see. We see waves coming one after one. And then... To make it more dark, there is a cloud in the top of the sea. My friend, stop saying to me, answer, you did not call me. Stop lying. Do we have any Muslim would like to call us? So simply, this is a big fat lie. And we can go to any Islamic interpretation, and we can read more, and we will laugh together. You see, the Quran and Islam, when they speak about science, they make fun of their God because their God even did not know how the baby is created, which is a very simple thing to know for God. Hello?
Hello. Hello. Please mute your YouTube if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah. All right. Already. Ah, <laughs> uh, Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Go ahead. Are you a Muslim? Uh, yeah, I'm a Muslim. What does that mean? But I have a one. What does that mean to be a Muslim? I have, I have a question first. Sir. No problem. But what what does it mean to be a Muslim? When you say to me you're a Muslim, what does that mean? Introduce yourself as a Muslim. What does that mean? I practice Islam according to the Quran. According to the Quran, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I... What, what does that mean? How you practice Islam according to the Quran? And the Quran says you do muta. Do you do muta? No, I have no. So why you just said to me you practice the Islam according to the Quran? It depends. Uh -huh. situation. So you don't like the Quran no more. You don't want to do muta. What's wrong? If you. If you are married, do you need to do muta? Oh, so what if I am a single Muslim now? Can I do muta? If you like, it depends on you. Okay, but what do the, do you do you prefer to do muta if you are not married? Did you do muta before you get married? No, no. So why you say to me you practice Islam? The Quran says you do muta, but you said you did not do muta. What what is that? Did, with my respect, your family. I'm not trying to insult. Don't take me wrong, please. Did any of your sister do, do muta? You know, everything has a situation and a case. No problem. Did your sister have any situation? She decided to have muta with somebody? For example, you are not married, right? Okay, your sister is not married, my friend. Or did you, I say you, your cousin? You, okay, you. so according to your religion, I can do muta. You are not married, why? Okay, uh, uh, simply uh, if I find a woman to marry me, I am a poor guy. I don't have money like your prophet. You have a lot of oh, money. Oh, no, no, don't tell me that. You you have enough money to get married. Maybe you uh, are. No, and at the same time, I have to find a woman. It's not about finding a goat. It's not no, about no, no, sex. No, 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 you are doing right now. I know. No, my friend, my friend. You do you, okay, let, uh, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me introduce myself. I like really to do muta. And can I have muta with your sister? Is that okay? You are encouraging me to get married, right? Okay, I cannot get married and I cannot find anything except muta. If I want to do muta with your sister, is that okay? Why do you want to do muta? Because this is Islamic, isn't it? The teaching of Allah. Are you saying to me the teaching of Allah is wrong? You know, if you are in a situation, you cannot get married. Okay, my friend, I have a, I have a situation, as you see. Uh, here we go. Who? Uh, there's nobody want to marry me. I am here. No, no woman. She said, I want to marry you. I accept you. What I can do now? I do muta. So if I want to do muta with a Muslim woman, and like your sister, if she is single, with my respect to her, I'm not insulting, by the way. I, if I, I want to do, if I, if, single sister. okay, my friend, you don't have a single sister. Okay, do you have like any of your family, anyone? Can you help me, okay. please? Okay, I have answered five of your questions. Let, let me ask you just one. Did you not answer anything? You are escaping the answer. Yeah, I want to yeah, do muta. I, I want to. I want to do muta. I want to do muta. You are in your case. Okay. In your case, you are you are single. Maybe you choose to be single. Okay. Or you are doing. Something. So you are I saying to me. You are saying to me. Yes, I am single. Anyway, yes, I am single. Listen, uh, so I'm. Uh, so I'm saying to me, my friend. Yes, is it from God? Is it? Is it from my friend? My friend. Why are you changing topic? Is it is it no, teaching no, no, of, is it teaching from, is it is it a teaching of God? Okay, you will ask me no problem. We are talking, my friend. We have all the time. My friend, we have all the time. Are you afraid that you, this is will expose that your religion is satanic? Are you agreeing that this is satanic to say to a woman and a man go and have sex for fun? And you claim yet that you follow God who is a decent God? What kind of God he says to me, go and have sex with the women for muta? What kind of God you claim that you are following the God of Musa, the God of Jesus, the God of Abraham? The God of etc. But yet you have a muta. Which which religion of those religion believe that we can have women for fun for three days, three night? You you would like to have muta? I am not. I will not. I am not a Muslim. But I'm asking you, what kind of religion you claim that you follow Abraham? You claim you claim you follow Musa. You claim you follow Jesus. You claim that all of them are Muslims, but none of them teach muta. Why you believe in such a garbage? Muta is nothing but adultery. Okay, I will answer you after. No, answer me now. Who call you? I call you. No problem, because you. first we give the, the we finish our topic, and then we go to your topic. What kind of cult no, no, allow you to have to sex? I am, I, I, my brother, my brother. I want any advice, brother. I want advice, brother. If I am going in the elevator right now, if I, if I am going in the elevator, if I am going in the elevator now, and I saw a Muslim woman, and I say to her, I want to have sex with her. Is that okay if I see a Muslim woman in the elevator Can and I say to her, you see, he will not answer. He's what ashamed. Okay, no problem. The worst say, on earth. My friend, what is that? What? The worst disease on earth. What is that? I don't understand. What? 
the sickness, the, the sickness. worst sickness on earth, you know. Muta, you. Muta, Muta, here we go. Muta. It, Muta is not a sickness. Yes, it is. Because you are following your lost, you are following the devil. You are following your lost. Islam is a is a is a lost. What kind of God he allowed you to have a lost to go sleep around with women and say this is lawful and this is a teaching of God? Jesus said, if your eye, if you look at the woman, she is not yours, it's better to unblock your eye and throw it away, better than losing your, your whole body in the hellfire. But your God saying the opposite, not only you can look at the woman, you can have so, sex with her. So, so you should be blind right now if you send prince. Well, my friend, my friend, I prefer to be blind, but Jesus is saying it's not. Why, a, why I'm not you blind? My friend, my friend, my friend, I am not I doing muta. I'm not, like I'm not doing muta. I'm not doing muta. He's saying. No, no, no. Every day you are looking at women around you. But I'm not, I'm, Every, I'm not like you. I'm not like you. You're, you're a prophet. He saw a woman. Let me show you. You're, you're a prophet. Hold on, hold on. You're a prophet. <laughs> Muhammad, Muhammad is a prophet. Muhammad is a prophet. Why, why he saw not, a woman. Maybe you are blind, Christian. My friend, I you am not a blind, and I, I, and what Jesus says is not about saying to us, "Take your eye out." Literally, he is saying to us, "It's better for you." To plug, it, to plug your eye. Listen, listen, listen. Yes, and block your eye. Take it off. But this is not literally. He is saying to us that if your eye will fail you, you better not to look, not to see. Be decent. You are a prophet. He see a woman walking by, and she is not his wife. Do you know what he did? He got horny. He jumped into his wife. She was doing leather tanning and he effed her. And then he said that the women, she come in the image of the devil and she live in the image of the devil. Jesus says, you cannot do that. This is sin. You're a prophet. Say this is good. How Where? they both, how, 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 how you Muslim, you say that Isa is a Muslim and Muhammad is a Muslim. But yet Isa says, you cannot look at the women. And if you do that, this is will take you to a hellfire unless you repent and ask for forgiveness and not to do that again. But you're a prophet saying, if you see a woman, look at her ass, look at her hips, look at her boobs. And then when you get horny, because a man will not get horny just by seeing a woman, he have to stare and can look you, and imagine. Can you, can you show me your evidence right he, now? It's in the screen. It's in the screen, my friend. Show me. It's in the screen. You can look at her. Yes, he looked at her, he got horny, and then he went to his wife and he did his wife, and he claimed that the women, she is the devil. And this is the chapter name. Chapter recommendation to the one who sees a woman and he is attracted to her to go to his wife or a slave women and have intercourse with her. I mean, how nice the advice of the Prophet Muhammad. Exactly. Listen, listen, listen. If you are tempted, everybody is tempted. Mm. So if you are tempted, you are married, better go back to your wife mm. and have. My friend, you you're, are you saying to me, you're a prophet, he get tempted by looking at women walking in the street? Is it a human being or not a human being? What kind of a prophet, decent man, why he's looking? Are you a human being? No, no. Sometimes you see, in order to be tempted, in, no, no, no. Let me tell you, I am a human being. Yes, I am a human being and a human being can be are tempted. Hold on, hold on. In or hold on, in order to get tempted, I have to think about it. I have to look. I have to stare. Course, if a woman, okay. So you this is so this is mean. This is mean. A woman she walk by. A woman she walk by. Your prophet he starts being. staring at her, and then he got horny. Do you get horny? Listen. Do you get horny after one second look? A woman she is wearing Arabian clothes. She is not wearing jeans. She is not wearing short skirt. She is not wearing anything sexy. So what made your prophet get so horny to go and do his wife and he is attracted to that woman? What exactly happened? Unless he is thinking about it and he decide to think about it in a dirty way. The woman she is not a belly dancer. She is not dancing in front of him. She is not taking off her clothes. She is not doing striptease. She is just walking by. What made Muhammad yeah. attracted to the women to the have, point he cannot you, wait? Me, Look, have you have you ever never experienced things like that before? Experience what? I see a woman, I like her. Yes, but doesn't mean I'm going to have get horny. Of course, okay, it's but, possible. But, but no, no, that's possible unless I'm think, thinking about of sex. Course, my, friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. No, 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 no. My friend, desire. my friend. Let, let me show you. Let, let me show you how we stupid what That's you just said. Let me show you how we stupid what you said. We we do what we think. No, it's not let Listen. me let me answer you. Let me answer you. Let me answer you. If you open the door in your house, hold on, hold on, hold on. Have feelings, feeling, feeling, feeling. But feeling always come from the brain. It's what you think about. If you open the door of your house in your in your house, you have 
listen, 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 listen let me talk, let me talk, let me talk. We cannot talk in the same time. Abdul, we cannot talk. My friend, no, you have to think about sex. Let me prove it to you. Let me prove it to you. Hold on. If you open the door of your daughter bedroom with my respect to her and your daughter, she was changing her clothes and she is young and beautiful. Are you going to think about sex? No. Why? Because it's in your brain that it's not. See, here we go. You answer yourself, guys. Did you see what he what he just said? It's in the no, brain. Is no, going to be blocked. No, here we go. Hold on. Let me answer. Let me complete. Past, let me complete. Past, let me complete. So in your brain, you block it. In your brain, you block it in a second. She is beautiful. She is young. But just because she is your daughter, you will not think I'll about her in the dirty past. way. You are a prophet because he did not block the idea. He was thinking past. about her in a sexual way. As simple as that. You are what you think. So here we go. You see your daughter in the bedroom. Maybe she is naked. She is beautiful. She is young. But you will never think for a second you want to do that with her. Why? Because your brain will block it. That's me and your prophet is a scumbag, my friend. Your prophet is a scumbag. Your prophet, he have no respect to his religion. Let me ask you. No. Let me ask you. Isn't it your prophet? He said. Isn't it your prophet? He said that women they should go. I am answering you. You are not the one who's answering. You have a religion of shame, and this is why you are okay. No, listen. You got busted. Your, you your Islam before? is a cult. Now go again. What is your question? Go ahead. Have you ever fasted before? Yeah, I do. I fast. So if you fast, I fast every day. I fast every day. Yes. Do, you, do you fast yourself? Of course, I fast. This but is a lie. This is a lie. I, I, this is a lie. I, I how you, how you, a Muslim, drinking. how you as a Muslim, you fast. This is a lie. There, the there is no Muslim he fast, and your prophet never fasted. Explain to me how you fast. Fasting? Mm -hmm. You just. Uh, Stop eating and drinking mm. until the time of eating and drinking comes and you eat and drink. How many hours? From sunrise to sunset. Eight hours when you are asleep. This is fasting. From sunset. <laughs> sunrise to sunset. My friend, you eat all day. Uh, all what you do, you switch day and night, which means you sleep in the daytime. No, 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 no. this is what I you do. This is what Muslims do. You see, I grow up between day. Muslims all my life. I am a Middle Eastern. I am an Arab. Don't you, don't play games. You you eat all day. You eat the all day like an elephant, all night as an elephant, and then in the morning you sleep, and then you wake up afternoon, and then you eat again. No, 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 Where no, is the fasting? It depends on people. If you if you feel that the fasting is serious you will do it as i do it let me ask you, you when you when you, sunrise, when you fast sunset, you don't when, eat, okay let me ask you when you fast yeah, do you suck no, that no, you when you when you fast do you suck the tongue of your wife so when do you fast, do you, you do you right? do you suck the tongues of your of your wife when you are fasting no you have not to do i'm asking you, you. Not, uh, i'm asking i'm asking you are you allowed to How suck? You? I'm, I'm asking you, do you are you allowed? Are you allowed to suck the tongue of your wife when you are fasting? Yes or How no? Do you fast? I'm asking you, do you really fast? I'm asking you, do you suck the tongue of your wife no, when you are I fasting? Am, in, it's my turn to ask you. How do you fast? Answer me and I will answer you how I fast. No, no, I already I am the one who asked you. Come on, I answer you about fasting. I, I fast, I, I eat once a day. I eat once a day, every 24 hours. Honest to God, everybody knows. Now okay. I am asking you, are you allowed? Are you al are you allowed? Are you allowed to suck the tongue of your wife when you are fasting? Are you allowed? Are you allowed to put your finger in her vagina when you are fasting? Yes or no? Are you allowed to suck the tongue of your wife? Listen, listen. Are you allowed? Are you allowed to no, suck the tongue of your wife? In between, do you feel the You see, here we go. He will not answer. Guys, look at this. Muhammad is fasting. What Muhammad he do when no, no. he is fasting? He I sucked the tongue of his wife. You, you and I. Yes, you shut and up, I. shut up. Really. Just, uh, just go. What a kid. Guys, look at this. Muhammad is fasting. What Muhammad he do when he's fasting? He sucked the tongue of his wife. And he do have orgasm. <laughs> I mean, this is amazing fasting. Yes, my friend, how are you? Are you there, Abdul? Abdul, I hear you. Either you want to talk or not. What kind of a prophet he do this? Yes. Yo. We hear you, my friend. What do you think about your prophet? He's fasting, but yet he is having sex with his wife. How? Explain. It's how. It's in front of you. No, it's not. 
Well, here we go. Your prophet, you bash your nisa, who was him, and he is sucking their tongues when he is fasting. So, so you can do problem, that. What's the problem with that? So, what's in, the problem? so you can do have sexual relationship when you are fasting. That's I not, thought no, fasting. No, no, I, no, that's not I, kissing. Is not sexual relationship. Oh, it's not. Okay, when you what suck, you when you suck the tongue of a woman, is that sexual? It's not a, a sexual intercourse. Okay, so but here it says he embrace embrace his wives when he is fasting and he kissed them and he sucked their tongues. So what's the so, problem? With that? So what is the problem? Why you suck their what? tongues if this is not sexual, my friend? Sucking tongues is this is not it, a kiss in the cheek. This is not sick. This no is not a that. kiss in the cheek. This is a sucking the tongue. Your prophet, he sucked their what's tongues. The problem with that? I don't see the problem. This is sexual. He's, he's not fasting. With. Okay, isn't it? Isn't it he's fasting? Isn't it fasting? Is entering a leak with your mouth? A woman, she have a liquid in her mouth, and you are sucking her tongue. Isn't it? This is a breaking of her fasting. No. Why? Because the only thing prohibited during fasting is intercourse and eating. So. So you Muslims, you can suck the tongues of women around you when you are fasting. You are saying yes. Your wives only. Okay, I'm saying your wife. I did not say your cousin. No problem. I'm saying your wife. So you, as a Muslim, you can suck the tongue of your wife. Correct. They're kissing. I don't see the problem with that. Can Why you touch her? Can you touch her private part? No, I don't think so. Are you sure? I'm not sure about it, but I don't think so. You can't have intercourse. My friend, it says you bashiruha, which means he is touching them all over. He says you bashiruni wa It says he kissed his wives. My friend, no, no. He says, you and he, problem. you see, no, you look at look at the Muslim translation. Look at the Muslim translation. He says. Yubashiru mean he put his dude, his penis, between her legs. He is touching them, he's having sexual relationship, but you are saying he did not have intercourse. I have to say there's no way. My friend, no, it says you bashir. It says Read with me. Read with me. The Muslim, this he is the Muslim translation. This is the Muslim translation, not my translation. It says. He kissed them when he in is English translation. It says he embraces while he kissed them. My friend, I don't see, I don't see a problem. With that. Yeah, it doesn't say actually embrace them here. It says you basher. You know what you basher? No, tell me what it is. Okay, you basher mean start to have sex. I know. I don't think that's what it means. Yeah, and here the, and the wife you, of Muhammad that, and my friend and the wife and the wife of Muhammad embrace. here, the wife of Muhammad here. She said, "Who of you control his penis like Muhammad?" What do you what? say about that? She said, Wait, "Woman, what? what does it say that? In, in front of us in Arabic, who of you control his private part, like Muhammad? So, yeah, you can protect your private parts from intercourse. Okay, but how 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 Aisha she's saying that that Muhammad he is the best man to control his private part, but yet he is kissing her and touching her and embracing her vagina. Kiss, kissing is different from having like literal. Okay, but how Aisha control. did Aisha sleep with any other man? How how Aisha she knew that Muhammad is the most man who can control his penis? How she got this knowledge? She is supposedly a virgin. Because she lived with him. What do you? I know, you but she is comparing him. She no, is com my friend. She is compa not, not She is comparing though. him to other men. When I say, "Oh, my husband is the most man who can control his penis," I never saw a man like him. That's mean my wife. She slept with many men. She didn't say that. She said. He, she said he, he is he the best. He is the best who control his desire. Okay, so I see a problem with that. How she knew? He's comparing him. How she, he's comparing to who? Did she sleep with other men? She's not comparing him to anyone. She is comparing him. She, when she says she is the best, that's mean he. She knew she have experience. You know, when I say this is the best apple I ate, it's mean I ate no, many apples. No, she, no, she's not comparing him <laughs> to anyone else. My friend, if I say this is the best apple, it's mean I ate many apple, and this is the best. If I say this is the best person I met, it's when I met many person and this is the best man. That's very simple logic. She is saying that he who of you can like can be like him. Nobody. He is the best. So how she knew at the same time your prophet is fasting, but yet he have time now to kiss and play with the private part of his wife. So I see a problem that it's, it's so not, it's you, as Muslim, not you as a Muslim, you as a Muslim, you can. Okay. okay, so you as a Muslim, have problem. no problem. You are saying to me, you as a Muslim, you are fasting, but yet you are sucking the tongue of your wife. You are touching her nipples and you are kissing her nipples and you are touching her private part. And this is not will, will not break your fasting. 
fasting. Though it doesn't say break your fast. The only thing that will break your fasting is having literal intercourse. So That's intercourse only. So intercourse only will break your fasting in Islam, correct? Intercourse and eating and. Okay, so you can do the rest. Everything else is 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 allowed. That though, there's more things that are prohibited. Okay, let me ask you. I will change the whole topic for you. I want you to deal, to give me one one thing will make you believe Islam is a good religion. Go ahead. Every, everything about it. Before, I, give me one. Now. Like all what? Give me. Give I me one. All of it. Give me one. Give me something strong. Something very powerful. You see, I'm not asking you. I'm not picking up my cherries. The, the Quran. Quran. But the Quran. Like, like what? The give Quran. me an example. Like what? What Quran? What do you mean? What Quran? The only Quran. I don't know the, uh, the the way I know the Quran is a stupid book. Show me that this book is not stupid. Exactly, you never you never read it. You never read it. Did you read the Quran? Yes, I have. Okay, have give you, me something smart in the Quran. Okay, give, you read it? give me something smart in the Quran, my friend. I'm not gonna pick you like cherry pick you verses. You have to read no, the whole. Give book me something itself. smart in the Quran, my friend. Uh, all what I'm asking you like, as what? long. Did you read the like Quan Quran yourself, the Quran my friend? In reality and how the okay, uh, let us. Thank you. Okay, guys, he said he said That's the Quran. Okay, no problem. Let's see if this is true or not. I That's find that one thing out of many. No, hold on. The, the, you are the one who chose this. Let us see. Okay. What you choose for me is a proving that the All Quran right. is the most stupid book ever. This is a chapter 23, verse number 14. It says that Allah, he made you from a sperm and the sperm became a congealed blood. Do you agree with that? Yes. He, science, they say that we used to be a sperm and then we became a congealed blood. Yeah, absolutely. Who is the donkey? He said that. Where can you show me the scientist who said that? I can't point it out right now, but the, the description. What? No, 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 no. There's nowhere. The there's nowhere. Exactly there's nowhere the in the. There's discovered. nowhere in the world anyone no. anyone believe in such a garbage that a sperm will transform to be a congealed blood, and that is the baby. No, no, it, it's accurate. It's okay, exactly can you show accurate. me? Okay, please, my the friend. Same description of the embryology. No, it's my, my friend, can you on. show me? Can you show me the description of the embryology? And I will show it in the screen for everybody. Either they will laugh at you or at me. What do you think? It matches. Or, do you want me to find the link to you? Yes, sure. I will describe. Okay, sure. Go ahead. And I will I show it. To, I'll promise what? you, I will show it in the screen, my friend. Okay, wait a second. Hmm. I will give you 10,000 years. To find me one doctor, he says that the sperm will transform into a congealed blood. Okay. And you can call a friend if you want. You can call Doctor Zakernaik. So, wait. Hmm. So. So so. Pro Professor Keith Moore, he he was like one of the first to discover the stages of the embryology. My friend, a friend. What, the, he's, the, the, no, what he said is that mm. the exact stages of the embryology matches the Quran. Mm. The exact stages, it's it's, it's accurate. He let said. me let me get you busted, my friend. This guy, no. the, the, this the, what what this guy he did. You gave him a false translation. He did not speak Arabic, and they said to him that Allah a leech. Is that yeah, correct? That's, that's exactly what it means. My friend, it doesn't say yeah. that. Here we go. I can show you all Islamic interpretation and all Islamic translation. Not he even one. Of, hold on, hold on. Accurate. Why, why in that the guy article the Muslim they gave him that the Quran say it's he's a leech? Muslim. Keith Moore is not Muslim. He's not even Muslim. You see, he this, this is the point. This is the point. If Keith is honest about what you Muslim said, if he is honest, he will convert to Islam. But obviously, he's he's fooling you. You know, this guy. He maybe he could. He, listen, this how? guy. He got. He got. He, he was invited by the Saudi supposedly, and he, he made he a speech. No one could have known My friend, that. nobody can know. And this is a stupid. What knows? They gave him a leech. There's no leech. Where is the leech? Show me the word leech in the Quran. Here we go. This is your Islamic translation. Name for me a translation you like. No, Which means it's, it's hanging. My friend, no. Show me. Okay, show me one Islamic translation. Says this is hanging. The word Allah is so no, no, where, where, hanging. no, the word alaqa, no, the word alaqa, the word alaqa does not mean hanging, my friend. The alaqa is the blood which is dead. Abdul, show me one is no problem. Show me no problem. Show me one Islamic translation. Translate this alaqa as hanging. Which one you want me to show you the screen? It means a substance so that's hanging. Why? Okay, let me ask you. Why you Muslims lying to us then? There's nobody of you is translating as hanging. Why you are saying to us a clot, 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 a clot? All of you are translating a clot. It means something that's hanging onto something else. My friend, this know. is a congealed blood. Stop lying. 
Why are you the scholars? None of them say so that this you is an, hanging. You an so are you, you could. You, so you got me someone who do not are know. Are you an embryologist? What? Yeah, you know, I have. I, I have a driving license. I knew about embryology. This is you not the question. Abdul, you know Abdul, Abdul this guy you gave me, he have no answer, and this is a stupid of you to say because this is not what the Quran says. Why? The Quran, you know, the Quran does not say MBL. what they told him. And the same time, this guy is a hypocrite if he say what he say because it says here that the sperm will transform into a congealed blood, and the sperm will not transform to anything, my friend. Exactly. He said it's accurate. He says my friend, exactly he's a liar happened. like you. I don't know what his purpose. I don't know. Show he's me. A, he's an embryo. No, no. Show me. No. Show me. Show me. You see, my friend, he is not. He is not. He's a no, scam. You can't, you can't handle he, he is a scam. He truth. is a scam you like your prophet. No, you cannot show you me. Truth. Okay, show me. Uh, okay, I cannot handle truth. Show me one Islamic interpretation or translation says that this is what it's meant. Can you? You know Arabic, right? You know the. You I know don't the know word. Arabic. I will learn from you. Okay, let me ask you, which interpretation you like me to read for you? It's a clinging substance, something that's hanging. My friend, my friend, nothing is hanging there. This is not about something hanging. That's, he says we made it no. a cloth. We made it a cloth. We did not hang it somewhere. This is the first the, the word in front of you. If we go, hold on. Let me show you. Do you want me to? to this is Yusuf Ali. Do you want me to change the translation? It doesn't matter. You okay. It. Can you give me a translation? Agree with your lies. The first translation that Keith Moore used, he said the exact. Did words Keith that Moore used, is Keith Moore is okay? Hold on, hold on. Okay, do Keith Moore have a translation, my friend? I don't know what translation he had. <laughs> <laughs> the one he had, he said that. The exact Abdul, words, you that Muslims the, are 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 official. Uh, okay, of let theology. let me get you busted. You and your Moore, are you saying to me that your prophet is a liar? How? How? Explain. Because your prophet, he explained how Allah created the baby. No, I'll like explain how he created the baby. Okay, what about you your what about about what about what about your prophet? Did your prophet explain that? Well, how would he how would he know? Was he an embryologist? My friend, he know that? so are he you saying are you saying to me uh, are you saying to me that your prophet was a stupid and the Dr. Moore he knew what he meant in the Quran, but your prophet did not know? No, he did he didn't know that before he before he got the Quran. My friend, the Quran was revealed to him. He didn't know that. Okay, but uh, when Muhammad explained the Quran, is he stupid or he knows what he's talking about? He he doesn't know the the he didn't know the Quran before it was revealed to him. Hmm. But afterwards, well, he knew what it was in it. Hmm. So how how no, you, so the, why you're a prophet the, the saying so why you're a prophet why you're a prophet? Years. Okay, explain to me why your prophet don't agree with Doctor Moore. He says that this is a blood. He, this is he, a dead blood. Why he no, says that? The, Professor Moore himself, he said the exact words that were used in the Quran. My friend, this is not the exact word in the Quran, and here we go. Your prophet is getting you busted. Abdul, your prophet is getting you busted. Your prophet is getting you busted. He don't agree with you Muslims today saying lies about the Quran. He explained how the baby is no, He doesn't agree with you, but Keith Moore, who is an embryologist. Okay, let, 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 me, let me ask you, you let, Mr. Embryologist, Mr. Embryologist, let me ask you. If a man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy or a girl? I don't know. Okay, according to your logic and what you learn in school, if the man have orgasm first, is that would change the gender of the baby? I don't know. So you are saying this is stupid? I don't know because I haven't studied it. Have you? So how you suddenly you know that Dr. Moore is right? Because many of the embryologists agree with him. He was one of the. He was one of the. My friend, my friend, this is stupid of you to say the embryologists. The, 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 nobody and uh, uh, agree with this because you know, nobody. You know more than you know more than an embryologist. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Because yeah, anyone. Yeah. Yes, I know. Yeah. Because there's no, not even a single one. I he says that. that we created him as a clot. The sperm will not transform. Stays, Read the Quran, Abdul. Does it say that. no? Does it say that argue. the Quran trans? My friend, yes, I can argue. Anyone who say that. anything else, we can open right now any Islamic website, even the Islamic website, who they are lying to you. They could not ref right. refute themselves. Is, is, right. is this an Islamic website or this is a Christian website? Who? The, the, the website we are using in front of us is this is a Muslim website or a Christian website? Which one? The one I'm using in the screen right now is that our translation? This is Yusuf I translation. So okay. is he lying or he is saying the truth, my friend? 
don't know the the Arabic words. Okay, let me ask you. Who else? Who else? What you trust? What what interpretation you like me to show you? Which you trust? Do you have any interpretation you like? You favor? Any scholar? No, I don't have. So so you are saying to me all the scholars agree with me, but you like Doctor Moore, who he not even himself did not convert to Islam because obviously he's a scam. Because if he really believed that this is from God, listen, listen. No, he if he really that. believed, no, listen, Abdul, listen, listen. Name for me. Let us be serious. Name for me one scholar. What about Jalalain? Do you know Jalalain? No. You never heard of the Jalalain? No. What about Ibn Abbas? Yes. Okay. If I show you what Ibn Abbas will say, do you agree with Ibn Abbas? I have to read it first. What he say? Okay. Here we go. This is ah after we the guy did you see he will read it first. <laughs> this is Ibn Abbas. He said, "Then the flash we made transformed to a drop, into a clot. Another forty days. Now listen carefully. The sperm will transform into a clot within forty days, and then we transform the clot into a lamp. Another forty days." And then we transform into little lamp in other 40 days. The total creation is 120 days according to the Quran. And this is how it goes. Sperm become a blood and the blood became a flush. Okay. And then the flush became a bones. Do you agree with that? Okay. That yeah, that's an accurate one. The science the embryo disagree with. Agree with that's this. I, I, I thought it take you it take you nine months to be developed and to be uh, ready to go. Here it says 120 days. 120 days for the bone and the flesh to develop, to develop, but that's it. So they that, are done. Maybe it keeps growing. So they are you are done. How? Okay. Uh, let Let us see how. Let us go make it more clear. This is Tafsir al Jalali. Okay. This is your Sheikh and this is your Muslim website. Then we transform the drop of semen into a clot, congeal the blood. Is that what Doctor Keth he said to you? Yes, he said that. Okay, thank you very much. If he said that, that means he's a liar like your prophet, because there's no scientist in the world agree that the sperm will become a clot, which is a dead blood. When you say a clot, congeal the blood, that means it's a dead blood. This is what Allah mean. So we transform the, the clot into a loom and it's of a flesh of a mudra. Mudra is a piece of a flesh in the size which one would be able to chew. This is true that this is the size of an embryo that, that he will become in the size you can chew. And then we so the transform shape, the, shape the lamp. Like Listen, we, tra we transform the lamp exactly into flesh works. into a bone. So until now, there's no bones. At the end, the bones, correct? Yeah. And after we have bones, now we close it. We close the bones with the flesh. Exactly. That's the exact description. Okay. So so according to, according to Islam, there's no meat. There's nothing. It was a sperm, and the sperm became a blood, and now the blood became bones. Yeah. Thank you very much. Let your dad call. Let your dad call me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. 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 Da. 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 I mean, uh, there's no time. There's no need to waste my time with donkeys. I mean, look at those people, Victor Moore. You see, this is what they do. They invited this guy. He's a Canadian. And for sure, they, they, they gave him a, a big check to say something good about Islam. Hello? Hello? Yes. Hello. What is the English word for leech in Arabic? For leech? Yeah. What is the what, English what, word what for leech in What leech? Leech. Leech, you mean what? The, the, you mean... Animal. The one who's talking about you, the, the insect, the insect, the one it suck your blood. Yeah. Well, you have to, when you speak about that, you have to say alaqatu dam, the one who sucked the blood. Oh, it says we transform the sperm into a alaka. So it can mean leech, right? No, it cannot because it says here that this is became a alaqa and the alaqa here you see when we when we explain to the muslims the quran we don't explain it as we uh, uh, we are arab christian we say this is what it's meant we go and see what alaqa mean 
So alaqa by itself cannot be the leech of the, the insect which Muslims are trying to say about it. And the reason for that, very simple. Here we go. This is your Muslim scholars. None of them understand it the way you try to make it look like. Because why Ibn Kathir? Why Al-Jalalain? Why Al-Qurtubi? Why Al-Tabari? Why all the Muslim scholars who speak Arabic very well? None of them understood it the way you are trying to make it for you. So obviously today, you Muslims, you are trying to fabricate a meaning is not there. Trying to escape the stupidity of of the Quran. Oh. Let me ask you, my friend, is a Jalalain? He is a person who knows how to speak Arabic very well, or not? Can he even speak English? Who? Uh, Al Jalalain. What does have to do? The Quran is in Arabic, not in English. Why he need to speak English? He is, expl I mean, he is okay. explaining to us, my friend. He is explaining to us the Quran in order to explain the Quran. You have to understand the language of the Quran. So why he need to understand the English? What is your what is your logic? Because he says it becomes an alaka and they trans the they translate it, not al Jalalain, but the people translate it into Okay, Quran. this is my challenge between me and you, my friend. Name for me one scholar. I will switch to Arabic. Name for me one scholar agree with your claim. Otherwise, you Muslims are a bunch of liars. Here, look, look, look how many scholars I will show you. Those scholars, English scholars, this website, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. Choose for me one of those scholars and we will read what he is saying, as you wish. What do you do? Sorry. What? Sorry. What did you say? Choose for me one scholar, he agree what you said. That this is a leech as an insect, not a leech as a congealed blood. Which one you want? Starting from At-Tabari, Al-Zamakhshari, Al-Bayan, Fi Tafsir Al-Quran, Al-Razi, Al-Qurtubi, Ibn Kathir, Al-Tawil, Al-Baydawi, Al-Suyuti, Al-Shukani, Al-Fayruzi, Al-Samarqandi. Which one you want? Al-Baghawi, which one you want? Endless. Look how many, look how many. None of them agree with the lies of the Muslims. So how come all those Muslim scholars who read Arabic very well, and they are most of them, they are Arab, yet none of them come with the genius fabrication that this is an insect which is a leech because maybe in the seventh century or ah so now we try to manipulate the mean of the quran to the seventh century what about muhammad himself do muhammad okay. knew how the baby created my friend what about your prophet because, my friend hold on maybe no 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 my, my, how you, do your prophet knew what the quran meant or he himself is an ignorant too i don't know Maybe say don't tell me maybe I'm asking you a question. Do your prophet knows how the baby created? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Can we read together what your prophet said if you don't mind? I just ask you something. My friend, can you read together how your prophet he explained the verse for us if you don't mind? Unless yeah. you want to say to me that Muhammad is not inspired by God and he was doing poo poo and he was lying. Are you saying your prophet is a liar, my friend? No. Okay, then read for me the hadith in front of you. This is from Sahih Muslim, and this is a Sahih hadith. Go ahead, I'm listening. The drop of semen remains in a womb for 40 days, and an angel comes. Stop, stop, please. Yeah. Do you agree with your prophet saying that the semen stay alive in the womb for 40 days? Maybe it's not Sahih. This is Sahih. This is Sahih. This is Sahih Muslim. Even the book name is Sahih. So this is in Sahih Muslim, but it's not Sahih. Thank you very much. Stop lying, man. Do you agree that the sperm of the man, he stay alive inside the woman for 40 days? By the way, guys, let me tell you something. That when my father had sex with my mother, I was going around journey for 40 days as a sperm. And I will show you a selfie. What kind why of a prophet he says such a thing, my friend? This is a lie. Why, why are you changing uh, topic? I'm not changing topic. This is your prophet explaining yes. the Quran. This is the Quran. How he made you into a clot. You are I'm first for, for us. You are for the first 40 days. Okay. You are a sperm. If we go, hold on. If we go right now and check any scientist website, they will say to us that the maximum, maximum, maximum seven days, the sperm can be alive. How your prophet says such a stupid lie? I will talk about it after the we discuss the meaning of uh, of uh, alaka. 
What, 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 what? Yes, it's about alaqa. The, the, because, because the semen will become a alaqa. Don't you see it? It's in front of us. We did not arrive to the alaqa yet. We will go. Just wait. It's coming. <laughs> yeah, maybe in the seventh century, people, if Muhammad said that. My uh, friend, what seventh century? This is a prophet of God. He is the one who gave you the Quran and he is inspired. The, uh, Allah told him what the mean of the verse. Are you saying to me, Muhammad is making things up? Are you saying, my friend, I'll be, watch your mouth, my friend, Muslims will be hate you to death now. What are you saying that the Muhammad was making things up speaking without knowledge? He's being stupid now. Shame on you. Let me call Zakir Naik for you. Hold on. I'm just saying maybe Terran Terran Dr. Zakir Naik. Assalamu alaikum. Dr. Zakir Naik, here we have a Muslim from Pakistan, brother. He just oh, said okay. that the Prophet at the seventh century he did not understand what he's saying. What you say to him, but the oh. first of all. Everything the prophet he said it's coming from Allah, and it's specifically when it speak about yeah, explaining of the Quran. So when the Quran is speak about something, the best one who to know it is the prophet because he's inspired by God Allah and he is the one who's giving it for anything. Thank you very much. So why you are saying to me that you're a prophet? He is an idiot, he do not know what he's talking about, and maybe in the seventh century, because he's ignorant, he do not know, and he was making oh, you're not me speak. I'm just saying maybe because the uh tears. They translate it into a club because maybe my, they my friend, this is not tafsir. This is your prophet talking. Maybe. What tafsir now? This is your prophet talking. Your Quran, you're, you're a prophet. You're a, this is your prophet, not tafsir of anyone. Are you saying to me that your prophet make it clearer, please? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm losing my voice. Are you saying that your prophet was lying when he said this, speaking without knowledge? Keep changing topic. I'm not changing topic. This is about the embryo. You are the one who said to me, let us talk about the embryo. No, I went, I was talking about the meaning of alaka. The meaning of alaka, no problem. It says here that you will be 40 days as a semen, and then after 40 days, you became a clot. No, it says, it says you will become a clot. Okay, my friend, alaka. my friend. Okay, let me ask you. What is, let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Do the sperm, do the sperm, do the sperm. Oh, so Okay, do according to science the sperm transform to something else and became a leech, yes or no? Yes. Where you can find me that? You prove me wrong. I challenge you to show me one. Any you can you can quote for me any university in the world. Don't give me Muslim article full of lies. Give me an, a university, not a Christian, not Muslims, not Hindu, not Buddhas, just doctors, talking about the embryos. Let us see if this is true. This is a lie. The the sperm, the sperm, my friend, will not transform to be anything. That the sperm will go activate the egg and will get will deliver the DNA, and that's it. Will not transform according to your God. It is the sperm of the man who will become something else, and that is the baby. So, what is the baby? It is this, and let me ask you here. As long as we are talking about this, your when your prophet he said you will become a, a, a sperm for forty days in the in your mother womb. Do the sperm go to the womb? Yes. The sperm go to the womb. That's amazing. Yes. I thought the sperm go to the vagina. It goes from the vagina to the womb. Ah, it goes to the vagina, from the vagina to the womb. Ah, okay. So, so the womb is the womb is is where the baby become a baby, right? So the sperm goes there, and then the sperm will hang up on the womb. Yes. And this is scientifically correct. Yes. Well, my friend, you win. I mean, I have to admit that you are a scientist and you know better. Obviously, this is true. This is true, guys. Obviously, this is true. Anyone, anyone can go right now and search in Google. You will find that you are being funny and being stupid, my friend, with my respect to you. Can you show me who is the one who agree with you that the sperm go inside the womb and hang there, stay for 40 days? What? It doesn't say it hang. You are the one who said to me, Alaka mean the leech, for you forgot. Hello? Yeah, I'm saying that. <laughs> okay, so this was saying. So I want you to show me, brother, that the sperm swim inside the women, brother, and went all the way to the womb. Ah, 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 I am here in the womb. Take selfie, take selfie. Show me. Why can you show me that? You're saying that the sperm 
becomes hanging on something. That, My that friend, I am not the one who's saying. You are the one saying. You are the one who's saying to me that Allah <laughs> mean hanging on something, not me, not hanging. me. Not, not me. It's you. So I'm saying to you, do you really believe in that? That the sperm will go to the womb, and then in the womb, the sperm will hang on the womb for forty days. Yes or no? It doesn't say that the sperm hang. It says that you are the one saying that to me. Aren't you the one who said to me, okay, what will hang up on the womb? 40 days, it is still as a remain as a sperm. Hmm? I'm listening. hang up <laughs> very embarrassing <laughs> brother sisters let me tell you what happened to the journey of the semen a brother when you have sex with your wife brother the semen will stay inside your wife going around brother for 40 days brother and brother this is a proven by Zayn's brother <laughs> oh boy, unbelievable, unbelievable. This is must be science. And you are telling me the prophet is not a prophet. Who or many of you feel like converting to Islam right now? And not only that, by the way, Muhammad he make more poo poo in the Quran in chapter 86, verse number six and seven. Muhammad he says that the women and the man they have a sperm and the sperm of the man coming from the backbone and the sperm of the women coming from sorry the sperm of the man coming from the backbone a sperm of the women is coming from the ribs specifically the location of the necklace da -da 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 i am really convinced that muhammad he is not speaking for false god this is cannot be a fabrication this is a miracle what kind of God he do such a poo poo? Do we have any Abdul? Bible teach that zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Quran teach one four five three seven six. I mean, this is really funny, guys. Look what this guy he said. Let me show you what the, his text. Yes, Mr. Ali, did you find me the answer, Mr. Ali? Yo. Yeah, yo. Hey, yo. All right. So you try your hardest to. Prove My friend, brother. So do you agree that the prophet, when he said that the sperm will stay in the womb for forty days, brother, yo? No, I don't agree. Okay, you are, you, so you are saying your prophet is a liar. Shame on you, man. Why are you are doing that? I'm not saying. I'm not saying. No, I'm not. I'm, no, you just, said, you, you just said. You no, just no, said you didn't. You just said you didn't agree. You just said you didn't agree. You didn't agree with your prophet, my friend. You just said no, that. Everybody no, heard no, you. Let's go. Let's go back to Christianity. Let's talk about Christianity. What Why about Christianity, about? my friend? There's no Christianity. Islam about? is the only no, religion. No, no, no my no, friend. No, no, no. Okay, no, it's, so, it's okay. religion. You right? are trying to escape. You are trying to escape speaking about your cult because because it's embarrassing. You're we, polytheist. You're polytheist. We believe in three gods? Yeah, you believe in three gods. You can say you believe in one god, but it's Okay, not hold true. on, it's hold not on. True. Again, you are saying that your god and your prophet is a liar because the Quran says that the Christian believe in one god. We, you believe in three gods. My friend, the Quran says that the Christian believe in one god. Why you are you believe, saying... Okay, okay, okay. All right, let's examine it. You believe Jesus is God. The Holy friend, Spirit is God. My friend. The Father is God, but that's one god. Okay. Okay, hold one on, plus, hold, on hold on, hold on. Okay, okay uh, hold right. on, hold on, hold on. Let me get you busted from the Quran. One plus one plus one equals one. All okay. right. Let, let me ask you. Let me ask you. That's perfect. Do you believe really in one plus one yourself? What? One plus one plus one is equal to one? Or you believe one plus no, one? You believe one plus one. We believe in that. What if I show you that from the Quran? Okay. How, what if I show you that you Muslims oh is the one? God. No, 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 no. Hold on. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. What if I show you that the Quran believe in one plus one plus one is equal to one? Didn't say that anywhere. Challenge? Anywhere. Challenge? Yes. 
Okay. No word do you, will say do that. you promise me, my friend, if I show you no, that? Show me. Right okay. Now. No word does it say but that. But let us no agree. Word. Let us agree that whoever says that is a stupid. Do you agree? No word does it say that. You show me. My friend. Show me. Okay. But show do you agree? Do you agree? Whoever says that is a stupid. Yes or no? No. You show me. Show me where it says that. Why you don't agree first before I show you? I want you to say whoever believe one plus one plus one is a stupid. Please, can you say? Can you say that? Say, say yeah. it to me. It never says that anywhere. Show no, I'm not says saying that. that. I'm saying. Show me where, show I'm saying. Are says you that. saying show to me? Says are you saying to me? Whoever believe no. that one plus one plus one is equal to one is a stupid. Say it, please. Show me where. It says See, I got a second ago. He called me to show me that this is a stupid. Now he don't want to say it's stupid no more. Exactly. Just show because. Says that. It doesn't say that anywhere. It's in the Quran. Exactly. It's in the Quran. Where? Okay, where? but show where? me for say. Keep your word. I'm you not you saying you call me. No, you are the one who called me. No, you are the one who said how you said to me you believe in three gods. One plus one plus one. And you no are word. making fun of me. No you are a coward, Abdul. No it's in the front of you in the Quran, in chapter four. No Stop being stupid. The Quran says that. Read with me. Where? Chapter four, verse one seventy-one. Read it. I'm listening. What's okay? Hmm. All people of the book commit no access of religion. Nor say of about but the truth. Hmm. Christ. Jesus, the son of Mary, was no more than a messenger of Allah. Okay, so he's, he's what? He's a messenger. He's a man. He's a messenger. He's a man, right? You agree? He's a man. Yes. Okay. Let us, hold on, hold on. Southern. We will type word by word you say to us. One, one by one. You said he agreed that he is a man. Guys, did he, did he hear him? He said he is a man. Thank you very much. Let us see here. We will type the word man. So here we type the word man. Man. Wonderful. So Jesus is a messenger and that meant to be he is a man. Okay, what else? Continue. His word which he bestowed on so he is a word he is a word so number two is his word do you he's agree a, he's the word of god yeah, he's no problem okay so he is the word of god he, okay no problem god said be and he was no problem my friend he is the word of god correct he is so he is a man and he, he is the word here. okay hold on so now we learn from the quran that he is man and now he is he's the word of god no problem he is word of god i will tie for you word of god here we go are you happy no okay. so he is word of god okay continue Could please reading him? continue reading please which we started on Mary. Okay. okay. And I can't see it. See we started on Mary. And the spirit preceding him. So he so is we, a spirit. He is a spirit, correct? Okay. Okay. So Jesus is a spirit. And the word and the man. That is a three. How he became one. Adjectives don't mean you're a per I can say he's many more things. My that friend, no, no, no. The Quran, don't you don't tell me I can. This is what you're this is how Quran presents Jesus to us. The Quran, okay, say, he's, a, he's a soul now. My friend, my important? friend, my friend, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the Quran presents to us Jesus. The Quran is telling us who is Jesus. The Quran, not me, not you. Don't be smart now. The Quran says that Jesus is a man, he's the a Quran messenger. Say Jesus is three persons my friend, person. my friend, no, he said the three are one. Read with me. He is a man, and you are the one who agreed that messenger mean a man. He said he's the word of God. It's, listen, it's listen, yes, and he is the word. He is the word. So what that is the make hold on, hold on? No, the, no, he is the word because not anyone is a word. Is Muhammad the word of God? The Quran is the word of God. Who? The Quran is the word of God. This is not a question. Okay, is the word of God created? Is the Quran created? No. See, thank you very much. So Jesus cannot be created because he is the word of God. He came in, yeah, he's a, he's a word of God because God said be and he was. My friend, you just said that the word How of God is not a created. You just said the word of God is not a created. Jesus is the it's word of God. So look, look what happened now. We have Jesus. He is a man. He, he is the word and he is a spirit. How a three became one. How says, listen, in your, listen. In your old body, it's in your old body. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you how stupid the Muslims are. With, Bible, I'm not insulting you. Hold on. Okay, let me ask you. You, you yourself, Abdul. Abdul. Okay, thank you very much. The word became a flesh. This is what the Quran is saying here. You see, you just admit. You just admit. You just admitted that the Bible is saying the truth in the, in the book of John. Shut up. Don't talk over me. Let me let me explain. Let me explain, please. Otherwise, I will hang up on you. Listen. Okay. The man. The man who was what he was a word in in John chapter one and you are the one who mentioned it in chapter one it says the word was with God and the word was the God now look the word became a man the Bible confirmed and then the man he have a spirit that is a three in one so the word the man and the spirit a three in one that is Jesus according to the Quran so now what we will find that you Muslims believe 
that you can't a person a treaty by saying a body and soul and spirit. My that friend, no, no, we can, we can, we can, or we can, we can. Why not? It no, we, it's not up to you. The, in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, don't look listen, God listen, listen. It's not up to you. Is your God Allah here making a mistake? Okay, why Allah did not say Jesus just a man? Why he mentioned he is a word and he is a spirit and he is a man? Because God said be and he was. He said be. Okay, let let me ask you. This is a big fat lie. Show me in the. Hold on. Let me get you busted. Let me get you. Let me get you busted. And your God busted. Show me the verse in the Quran. Allah created Jesus by saying, "Be." I'll show you right now. It's, it says, "Whenever He decrees something to be, He says, be and it is." Okay, this is my challenge for you. Name for me one thing He created by saying, "Be." Just one. Ad Adam, Adam and Eve. He says, Adam. Okay, okay, let us see if this is a true or not. This is a big fat lie because your God Allah He did not create Adam by saying, "Be." He made mud and then he breathed into the mud and then took him time okay, to be a human. How does that happen? How Hold on, happen? no, 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 no. He did he not say be. No, no, no. He did not say. No, he did not. He did not say be. This is a lie. Show, re, show me the verse where he created him by be. If I say be, just like he created Hold on, no. Father, in the Bible, in the Old Testament, Jesus. in the Old Testament, in the Old Testament, God said, "Let be light," and light was. He did not need to who, breathe in anything. I am father, asking right? you, no. Listen, listen. The Quran says Allah He created Adam by fashioning him. Are you? Are you? you say, uh, okay, you see here you we go. In three gods. Okay, you are the one who believe in many gods, not us. You want to talk over me and make me lose my voice? That will not work. You see the Muslim they lie to themselves, and the Quran is a stupid book officially certified donkey author. How the Quran says that Allah, if you want something to be, He say be. And he never created anything by saying be name show me show me one thing created by be jesus no jesus allah he created him supposedly by breathing into mary let me show you the verse when a fakhna fi farjiha he breathed into her vagina what a filthy god he did not say be and he was where so you muslims you are like a like a like a recording machine you repeat things you do not know what you are saying we breathe into her vagina and the muslims they don't translate what the verse is saying the word vagina disappear in the translation in different verse it says where allah he said be and he was that one of the poopoo of your prophet Muhammad, he cannot stop doing making poopoo. He cannot. It's against his nature. He have to do poopoo twenty four hours seven days a week. Allah is walking. Poopoo is coming. Read with me. And Mary, the daughter of Amran. And by the way, Mary is not the daughter of Amran. The stupid Muhammad versus Aka Allah. He is making a poopoo again. He thinks the father uh, 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 Muhammad he heard that Umram is the father of Moses and Aaron, and they have a sister. Her name is Mary. So look what Muhammad he did. He misquoted the name wrong. Instead of saying Umram, he said Umran, which means the letter here is wrong. And this is a proof that Muhammad is a false prophet. Secondly, Umram is not the father of Mary. This is the father of Moses and Aaron. If we go in the Old Testament, we will find that Mary is the sister of Aaron. Her name is Maryam. And this is exactly how the Quran appear or the name of Maryam appear in the Quran. Maryam. This is the exact name. Maryam. So the Edith Muhammad, he thought that Maryam, the sister of Aaron, the sister of uh, Moses, is the same Maryam, the mother of Jesus. And she is the daughter of Amram. <laughs> This is why in different verse in the Quran he says, "Oh, sister of Aaron." The Muslim try to defend that they say, "Oh, they used to 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 name them by the good ones. What good ones? What good ones? What about calling her oh sister of David, sister of uh, 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 of uh, of Solomon? Why Musa? Why Aaron? Which is which one is the greater, Aaron or Musa?" <laughs> Anyway, and here you will see that uh, look how the Muslim they translate falsely and we breathe into her body. Oh, really? Where? 
Where, where? Uh, her nose? <laughs> her nose, no. Uh, her mouth? <laughs> no. In the Quran, it says, Farjaha. Her vagina, you liars. So where in the world Allah he created Isa or even Adam by saying be and he was it's a big fat lie not only that the Quran confirmed that when Allah he created Adam it took him long time to the point the Quran made a verse about it says what kind of insano ajula a human being was her you know a rush like finish me first man and Allah was so slow to finish Adam to the point Adam he said to Allah <clears throat> in chapter 17 verse number 11 finish me Allah finish me come on before the sunset man if we go and see the interpretation <clears throat> don't call me now please let me finish this topic <clears throat> chapter, chapter 17 let me drink some water <clears throat> see guys how hard is this stupid Debate says you lose your voice, you got headache, and you <laughs> but still God is good. God he give me he give me the patient and he give me the reward when I see Muslims leaving Islam left and right by thousands and thousands. Listen to this chapter 17, verse number 11. How Allah created Adam. Maybe the verse here doesn't say about Adam creation. No, in order to see really what happened, you go to the interpretation. And you will see that the interpretation is saying clearly that when Allah he created Adam Adam he was worried that Allah is so slow so he asked Allah to finish him fast before the sunset that's why it says we kind of insano ajula which means that the human being was ever hasty hasty for what finish me finish me before the sunset how we can prove that let us go to the interpretation of Ibn Kathir, which Muslims they like very much. 1711. As you see, we don't bring things from our pocket. We show you what Muslims believe. We don't fabricate stories. And obviously, the Muslims, they cannot really get away from this because this is what their stupid cult is teaching. All right. We are in 1711, uh, sorry, 1711. All right. Hello? Hello. Well, you are a big fat liar. Why am I a liar, my friend? Why am I a liar, my friend? Why? I married the sister of Aaron. Married? Married the sister of Aaron? Yes. The hadith says that Muhammad says that it is just out of respect. Out of respect, okay. Yes. So how you explain to me that the father of Moses is the same name of the father of Mary? Yes. What is the, the father? Of, okay. What is the father of Moses according to Islam? I'm just asking a person. I'm asking you a question. What is the name the of the father? Hold on. Bible. What is the name of the father of Moses according to Islam? I don't care in the Bible it says, you, you care no you care because you are calling me to prove me wrong my friend in order to prove me wrong what what is the name of the father of Moses according to Islam the Bible says Jesus is the my friend this is not the question this is not the question Does, the, no 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 the Bible doesn't the, the Bible doesn't say he's a son of Abraham right or, or any this is not a true the Bible, the, the Bible says he is a son of a son, the son, the son, the son, the son. This is when they speak about the by, by birth, he is from where? Not not right away, the son of David. And if you go right away, you will see that Jesus said to the Jews, What do you say of the Messiah? They said he is a son of David. He said to them, If he is a son of David, how David call him my Lord. Now answer, what is the real name of the father of Moses according to Islam? Okay, you are a kid, you can lie and you know you can you can do poop in your panty. If we go right now, any one of you, search any Islamic website. What is the name of the father of Moses? You will find miraculously is Omran. The same name of the father of Mary. 
so the Muslim they try to say oh out of respect out of garbage this is garbage both have the same father and that is impossible now here let us see a man is ever hasty Salman al Farisi said and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached to his feet when his soul was breathed into him it entered his body and his head downward when he reached when it reached his brain he sneezed hit you <laughs> And he said, Alhamdulillah. Here we go. Adam, the first in Adam, he speak Arabic. Arabic at that time was exist. Are you kidding me? Arabic is the most old language in the world. Here we go. Adam, he sneezed and he say Alhamdulillah. No comment. Alhamdulillah. What he said? He didn't say hello, shalom. How are you doing? Give me a like, subscribe. No, no, no. He said, Alhamdulillah. All right? Now, and then translation, please. Bra praise be to Allah. Thank you for the translation. <laughs> and then Allah said to him, May your Lord have mercy on you. What, what the heck? Isn't, aren't you his Lord? What do you mean, may your Lord have mercy on you? The guy, the poor guy is not even created. You are talking about me. May your Lord have a mercy. You're not sure? Who are you then? And then, oh Adam! Now, how Adam? He knew he's Adam anyway. When he, when it reach, reach it reach what his soul, his eyes he opened them. Point like look at this. He just opened his eyes first time, and when it reached his body and limbs, he started to stare at them. This is remind me of the 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 comedy movie. It's called Ahmad the Dead Terrorist. Do you know Ahmad the Dead Terrorist? <laughs> Yes, Abdul, why are you calling me? My friend, you worship the creation, not the creator. So why are you still... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can you prove to me that I worship the creation, not the creator? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you, just, you, you know what? I like Muslims who they are smart. So you, you sound like are smart. Hold on. Uh, did you just say, did you just say, I worship the creation? Hold on, can't you stand with your words? Did you just say to me, I, wor I worship the creation, not the creator? Yes. Isn't it the Quran says that Jesus is a creator? No. You want to you wanna bet? Yes, you want to bet? You want to bet? Okay, what you will yes. do if what you do if I show you that? Are you willing to leave Islam? What will you do if I show you that in the Quran it says Muhammad is the word of our honorable messenger? He's an honorable messenger. Okay, well, uh, uh, if I say uh, I can make a book about myself now and I say I am an honorable messenger, why you are changing the topic? If I show you I'm right now in the Quran that Jesus yes. is a creator, what you will do? I'm isn't it isn't it the Quran, my friend? Hold on. You just said that you are worshiping the creation, not the creator, which is a stupid of you to say because the Quran says in chapter 3, verse number 49, that Jesus is a creator and he created from the mother birds. So he is a creator. And in the Quran, it says in chapter 81, verse 19, it says uh, the Quran is the word of Muhammad. Uh, thank you very much. Quran is the word of Muhammad. Yes. Okay, so the Quran is a false book, cannot be the word of God. No. Okay, what, what verse you mentioned to me, guys? Listen again, what, what chapter? Chapter 81, verse 19. Thank you, guys. Chapter 81, here we go. We go to chapter 81. And you are the one who will remind me of this verse. Thank you very much. Which is proven Muhammad to be a false prophet because if Muhammad is not a false prophet, how he say in his Quran that the Quran is the word of Muhammad? Allah only understands that. My friend, we understand it too. You just gave me a verse proving that this is the whole fabrication of Islam. Verily, this is the word of most honorable messenger, the Quran. No, you're trying to make, you're trying to claim that in the Quran it says Jesus is created. That's false. My friend, we are talking about two things. You gave me a verse proving Muhammad to be the one who fabricated the Quran, and the Quran says that Jesus is a creator. Read with me. Isn't it? Jesus says, I fashion for you from the clay a figure of a bird, and I breathe into it, and then will become a bird. This is a bird. Okay, so Jesus is the creator. No. What do you mean, no? He created the birds. Do you agree with the Quran when the Quran says that he Jesus died. created birds? Yes or no? He gave life to one bird, he didn't create it. My friend, hold on, hold on. So Jesus, he gave life. 
Did, God, did, he, did he just say he gave life so Jesus can create life? Thank you very much. No. You just, you are the one who said he gave life. It's by the will of Allah. But it, it doesn't matter by the will of Allah. Okay, is Allah will now working in me? I am I am exposing Allah now. Let us see the will of Allah. Can Allah stop me? What? Can Allah stop me from getting him busted and spanked every day? We burn in hellfire forever. Oh, here we go. See, the will of Allah is useless. Uh, in hellfire. What hellfire? I will convert to Islam a day before I die, and my uh, and Allah will make my penis endless, and I will get all the versions. Here we go. Ta -la -la -la, ta -la -la -la. I'm saved. I'm okay. Like, my friend Abdul, like listen, Abdul, like listen, this. listen, listen. Don't don't worry about. Listen, you see, your God, your God. You know, I can claim now. I can claim now that all the miracles of all the prophets is done by me. I am the one who gave them permission. Just don't waste my time, man. Let your let the man of the house call me. Let your mom, please. Let the mom. Let your mom call me. Where is the Muslims who have any intelligence here? We keep jumping like monkeys from a place to place. We go back to Adam, because I like this. I like cartoons since I was a kid. Tom and Jerry, Mickey Mouse. And by the way, do you know that Mickey Mouse is wanted for the Muslims? They have a fatwa to kill him. If you don't believe me, search in Google. It says that Mickey Mouse should shall die. Why? Because he's the enemy of Allah, brother. Yes, Allah he hate Mickey Mouse. Now let's continue here. <clears throat> so when it reached his body and limbs, he start he started his his his. Why are you are calling me again, man? What do you want, uh, Abdul? And I want to say I'm gonna have women in Jannah. Where you gonna rot in hell? Okay, you you will have women. Are you sure? Do you have a proof that you will have women in Jannah? Yes. Okay, let me ask you a question. Muhammad he said in Jannah you are going to sleep with men and women. Is that right? No. Okay. What if I show you the proof? Yes, show me. Okay. Let us see. <clears throat> Here we go. Read, my friend. In Jannah, you will not have sex with women. You will have a big dudes doing you. Read the read your prophet saying, "Indeed, in paradise there is a market in which there is no buying nor selling except for images of men and women. Mm, men, images of men and women, and so who who never." A man who is the customer is a man. You, you are the customer. Desire an image, he enter it. So, my friend, you will not be having sex with women only. You will have sex with Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, hold on, shut up, please. Respect your prophet. Respect your prophet. Sylvester Stallone. He will show. They will show you the image of Sylvester Stallone. He have a big missiles, and you look at him. He says, "Wow, man, wow." And you jump inside the picture, Sylvester Stallone. He grab you, he take off your panty, and he do bang bang and grow to you, Allah, Allahu Akbar takbir. Are you happy? Fuck you. F f f what? Fuck. Why you are angry? I just showed you what your prophet said. Why you are saying to me, F you? Thank you very much. Here we go. You prove my point. You prove my point. In heaven, you will F men. You see, if you are not a gay, if you are not a gay who like to F men, you will not say to me, F you. Why you want to F me? If you are not, if, if you are a straight, why you say to a man you want to F you? Unless you are a gay. Hello? Hello? Why does it say man? In the good, it says there in front of you, it says pictures, images of men and women. Yes. Okay. Why does it say that it is for a man? Who is the customer? So whenever a man desire an image, no. don't you why see does it? it? Say that? Why does it say that? It says in the front of us, my friend, in front of you. If he desires it, but it doesn't say that he will have sex with Who him. is the man he will desire? What he will do with the image? Desire what? What do you mean desire? What is it? This is heaven. You are the one who told me in heaven we will have sex, right? Okay. You desire an image of a man. How you can desire an image of a man? What you would do with it? Explain to me. Images of men and women. That means you can have. 
I don't know. Tak, 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 tak. You want to call a friend? Tak, 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 tak. You know, answer the question and win the one one million. Tak, 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 tak. You want to, what, what, what happened? What do you mean you don't know? Come on, explain to me. And the image of men, you desire an image of a man. What you would do exactly with it? Explain to me. I'm listening. I don't know. You didn't explain. What do you mean you don't know? Why are you, why you are exploding on my face, my friend? Come on, be, be nice to me. I'm I'm scared now. Please. What do you mean when your prophet he says that you desire an image of a man? What does that mean exactly? Yeah, you tell me. I don't know. I, I don't know. You are the Muslim, not me. I don't desire image of men, my friend. It's you who desire image of men in the heaven. Yes, if he desires it, if he wills it, it doesn't say that. He okay, it. no, no, my friend. The whole market, there's a market in the heaven. There's no, like, there's no. Uh, uh, games there's no atari there's no computers there's no tv there's only images and the images are images of men and women so you yeah. walk by and you and you buy it by the way you have to pay it for free it says buying or selling which means there's nothing except this kind of buying and selling so you have to get your money with you you go to the market and then you want to buy you want huh every 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 wish you want you will get it in okay heaven. here we go but in this heaven you can get the wish you want which is a man as you see and the muslim man when he so this is mean that the muhammad he teach you that in the heaven of allah you can have sex with men no what do you mean no okay explain to me then you desire an image of a man why what does that mean how you desire what you would do with it how the fuck do i know why you are saying the F word? Keep saying the F word. Come on, man. I know you are a Muslim and you're reciting the Quran always, and that make you a very decent man. But oh, please don't use that language with me, my friend. Explain to me. Don't tell me I don't uh, F. No, I have no idea. You tell me. What do you think? You, okay, you are being filthy now, so I'll have to let you go. I have to. I. Uh, I feel sorry for you. Here we go. You are proving to me that you desire men. What do you say to a man? F you. It's mean you desire to F a man. You prove my point, my friend. Thank you very much. Da -da 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 my friend you want to debate a Christian Prince you this do you know why your scholars don't even dare to call me I'm not even debating you I'm just having a snack this is why your potato scholars they will never dare to get close to me they are lined up to debate American with the blue eyes blonde who don't speak Arabic, who do not know much about Islam. They are lined up to debate them, but nobody want to debate me. And do you know why? I wonder how, I wonder why. You told me, told me, told me about Muhammad in the sky and all what I can see, all a bunch of idiots around me. I turn my head up and down. I turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it around, and all what I can see, a bunch of homo and crazy people around me. This is homo. Now, my friend, I respect your wish to be a homo. This is your decision. I'm not saying anything wrong about you. I mean, this is your wish. Be happy. This is what they call them happy, gay. So you in the heaven, you will be a gay happy and you will have this. So why you say to us in Christianity and you speak about the Western and the, the, the Western, they have gays and lesbians. The Bible says it clearly that we don't believe in that. But you Muslims is the one who believe in that. What kind of heaven this heaven is? Obviously, this is hippie heaven. You will have gays, homo, uh, uh, lesbian. Uh, okay. By the way, what about the women? There's a market for the women. Why the women cannot go there? Ah, women are not allowed only men they will have sex with men very decent prophet very decent Muslims are very conservative only men can have sex with men and by the way this is the Eve brother this is the Eve hadith anything they don't like they say it's the Eve but Jami al turmudi is one of the Sahih authentic books <laughs> Hello. Hello. Yes. Uh, CPO, how are you? I'm fine, my friend. How are you? I'm fine. Um, I was just calling you because I have a question for you, uh, regarding the Quran. Okay. Okay. You know, in chapter eighteen, verse twenty-seven, right? And okay. Allah says to Muhammad, uh, "Wait." <clears throat> 
that he has revealed the words to him and his words cannot be changed, right? Mm. And in chapter 2, verse 75, he said that the Jews are the ones who copied the, the, the Bible. Mm. And how can you reconcile these two verses? For me, it's like a contradiction, isn't it? Uh, you see, when when uh, when the Quran say that nobody can change the word of Allah, and then yeah. we find that Allah Himself is changing the word of Allah, that will be horrible, isn't it? The Quran says if we if we want to, uh, 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 you know, we delete Quran or we cause Quran to be forgotten, we will make better Quran or similar. Yeah. So this yeah. is, you know, Quran is a chain of stupidity. I cannot make a comment about two verses. The whole Quran is stupid. Mm -hmm. Same time, if we ask the Muslims, uh, what is the first chapter of the Quran Allah He gave to Muhammad? They say to you where it says Iqra al Qalam. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. But this is a chapter number 97 in the Quran. Okay. Or 96, sorry. So if the Quran never been changed and nobody can change it, why what is first became at the end? Oh, wow. Not only that, if we go right now and we ask the Muslims, In the beginning of the Quran, it says that today I completed your religion for you, accepted Islam for you as religion, and it's complete. And this is a chapter what? Chapter 5, verse number 3. Okay, if you complete the Quran for me today, and you complete your favor upon me, upon me I don't know if you can see the screen. Do you see it, my friend? Uh, wait a sec, no. All right. Uh, because I on my phone, I don't think I can play YouTube at the same Hang time. up, hang up, and watch there. Okay, perfect. All right. So if we go, guys, here we will see Allah saying that Allah He completed His religion. He completed what? His religion. This day, you see, when I say this day, I'm talking about certain moment, certain time. Abdul, why you are calling me again? You want to say the F word? You want me to block you? My friend, if I if I show you a clear Bible contradiction, will will, will you leave Christianity? Hold on, hold on, hold on! Don't say that. Did you say to me you found a contradiction in the Bible of Allah? No, your Bible. My friend, we don't have a Bible according to Islam. This is the Bible of Allah. If I show you one, well, my friend, no, no, I want to. I, no, 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 hold on, hold. This is dangerous. This this is very dangerous. Did you just say you found a contradiction in the Bible of Allah? Isn't it your Quran says that the Bible is sent by Allah? Why did Allah send Muhammad? Because it was corrupt, right? Okay, hold on. So you are saying to me that the, the Quran, the, the, the Bible of Allah is corrupt? Yes, of course. What, what a Allah disgusting, stupid God. How your God allowed this to happen? How he sent the Bible, but then the Bible is corrupt, my friend. Are you saying to me, your God, Allah, he is weak. Nobody can, he cannot protect his book. What happened? People kept corrupting the Bible. So Allah has decided to send another message. Hold on, hold on. I, are you saying Allah to me, has, are you saying to me that people, know, did you Allah just, has, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did you just say that people, they give, they keep spanking Allah and corrupting his book? Because when you corrupt the book, this is the book of Allah, not my book. We human, we don't have a book. This is the book of no. God, right? Okay, so you are saying to me that Allah, he sent the Injil, as you see in the front of you, and he sent the Torah to Moses, and you are saying to me, your God, Allah, he cannot protect his book. This is funny. Explain to us how this happened. Because Allah has decided to send Muhammad as a... Left this is not about decide, left. decide yeah, after. Okay. No, no. Later, later he decide. After they spank him and they corrupt the book. But how happened, how it happened, that Allah, he sent the gospel, the Injil, and the Torah, and your God could not could not protect it. It's not by His will. It's not by Allah will. Yes. So it, this so this is against Allah will. No. I mean, uh, let, let, let me just explain this. Okay. Let, let us make it clear. No. Let us make it clear. It, it, the corruption of the Bible. Hold on. Hold on. The corruption of the Bible happened by Allah will or against His will. Against His will. Okay, guys. Did you hear this? He just said that the corruption of the Bible happen against Allah will so how you say to me Allah if he will something he say be is going to be what you just said that the corruption of the Bible happened against his will 
but you Muslim, you just try to convince me, saying, Allah, if you want something to be, he said, he said, be, which means he said, be Bible, and then no Bible. So Allah said, be Bible, he could not keep the Bible there. So when he say be, when he say be a holy book, he could not keep it as a holy book. Here we go, people, they are corrupting it. So your God cannot be God. What the fuck are you talking about? My friend, why you can why you cannot talk without saying the name of your father? The reason why Muhammad is Why you cannot okay? Oh no, hold on, please. Please, Muslims, if you call me, don't mention the, your stepfather. Please. Or the Prophet Muhammad name. Please show respect. Why you keep saying the F word, my, br my brother? Listen, the reason why Allah Muhammad is the final messenger is because the Quran is the eternal word of God. Hmm. It is so powerful that it cannot be corrupted. Okay, let me ask you. Did the goat eat the Quran? Did, okay, 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 hold on. Did the goat eat the Quran? My friend, did the goat eat the Quran? Yes or no? Oh, these verses were abrogated. It is a lie. Where, 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 where it's a lie? Where, where do you get this? This is a lie. These verses were just invented. It's a lie. By human In, invented, but this is but this is your prophet. This this is your prophet wife. She is saying that when he died, the goat eat it, the eat it the Quran. Are you are you saying Aisha is a liar? No, I'm just saying Allah will not protect it because it was invented by humans. No problem. So oh, so those verses are invented by humans, so the goat ate them. Yes. Ah so now you agree. That in the Quran, there's verses was invented, and then Allah He sent the goat meh, to eat the Quran, which is invented, correct? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you very much. That's mean that if anyone corrupt a book, Allah will send a goat to eat it. Why Allah did not send a goat to eat the Bible, which is corrupt, my friend? Should I call a goat for you? Meh. Meh. She's coming. Are you there? Are you still alive? Yes. So what happened? As long here, the verses you are saying that because they are corrupted, Allah, he sent the goat to eat them. Wonderful. And you yes. said to me that the Bible of the Christians, which is Allah, he sent, is corrupted. So why Allah did not send the goat to eat the Bible of the Christian, which is corrupted? Allah he sent Quran and corrupted and the goat eat the corrupted verses because the Quran is too powerful to be corrupted. okay so you are saying to me that the Quran is powerful because it is protected by goats no I'm saying it's powerful because it is uncreated and it's no no this is not the question no you said to me that Allah he sent the goats and they eat the corrupted verses you said that correct no, I'm just saying come on you are taking your words again back. I don't respect that on you. Come on Let let your let, let the man of the house call me. I Mean do you see when this day? I wonder how I wonder why I Mean I want to be a Muslim. I want to feel stupid for a second. I hate to be smart all my life I want to be stupid for a second so I can sleep. I go to bed. I can't even sleep. I'm thinking I hate it Honest to God, everybody sleep except me. I sleep thinking. And here we go. This is the best example of how to be comfortable when you are asleep. Abdul. He is asleep even when he's awake. Abdul, are you with me, Abdul? I mean, you cannot be not smart if you are Abdul. It's it's in your blood. The second you are Abdul, you are a genius. It's a must. It's not even a choice, my friend. Unbelievable. Takbir. He's calling me again. Yes, my friend, why are you calling me? My friend, why are you such being a hypocrite? Hypocrite. You're, okay, hold on. You want to talk about hypocrisy? You want to talk yeah, about yeah, hypocrisy? Yeah. You're saying the Quran has contradictions, errors, but in the Bible it has so many. I can show you 200 irrefutable contradictions. My friend, my friend, I don't know. I saw a Muslim website. They are saying there's more than 3,000, uh, sorry, 
300,000 contradiction in the Bible. What do you think about that? Do you agree? 300,000? No. No? So it's less? Yes. 299,000? No. Okay. Let me ask you, how you were able to find the 200 contradiction in the Bible, but you never read the Bible? What the fuck are you talking about? Okay. Don't, don't stop using the filthy language, man. Let me ask you. Did you read the Bible before you find a contradiction or somebody told you there's contradiction? I read the Old Testament. Okay, I, I want to ask you it. as long as you did read the Old Testament. All right. I want to ask I'm you, I want to ask you a question about the book, and you tell me what do you think about it. There is a book, it's called the book of Manamanos. What do you think about this book? It's speaking about the prophet David. I don't know that book, but so you know it, right? No. You never heard of it? No. Okay. What what a book you heard of? Just uh, send me the name of the uh, of the book in. Okay. In the... What what do you think about in the gospel, which is the uh, the book of Antonius? No, I never heard of it. You never heard of it. Okay. What do you think about the book of uh, Carlos? I never heard of it. Okay, what do you think about the Quran? I think it's uh... You heard of it? Yes Okay, is yes. it true that you Muslims you found the name of your prophet in the book of Marcos or Carlos? No, okay, where you find the name of your prophet? I heard yes. that you Muslims you found it in the wow. Bible You are just uh, trolling with me you fucking Oh, okay, I'm trying to see because you are very smart. I mean, you found oh. 200 verses in the Quran in the Bible. They are the contradiction, but you could no. not show me one one verse in the Quran is not contradicted itself. The whole Quran is a stupid book. And when I show you your when I show you your prophet speaking about your prophet wife speaking about the goat eating the Quran, you came with the theory that Allah He sent the goat meh to protect the Quran by eating the corrupted verses. That but let me ask you, who is the one who put those verses in the Quran? In the house of Aisha, a man who will who, who hated Muhammad. Okay, so are you saying there's a man he is entering the bedroom of Aisha with our permission of the Prophet? Are you accusing Aisha to be cheating? No, I'm just saying he invented these. Yeah, but how he can do that, my friend? It is inside the bedroom of Muhammad under the pillow of Muhammad. So this man he have. An opportunity to have an access to the bedroom of Muhammad and specifically to his bed and his pillow. So, are you saying that the prophet wife she was doing like you know you know she's young, her husband is very old, he's dying, you know? What do you think? How this man he was able to corrupt the Quran, which is in the house of Muhammad, in the bedroom of Muhammad, under the pillow of Muhammad? I'm just saying maybe he invented it way before that. Ah, before they bit it under the pillow, you get it right, my friend. Thank you very much. How come Muhammad died and he did not notice? I don't know. Because you just said they invented before that. So Muhammad now he was having the Quran, but he did not notice that his Quran is corrupt. So Allah He sent the. Do you think this goat? Oh, do you think this goat is an angel or something? Allah He sent the goat because you are saying to me the goat is sent by Allah and the goat ate the Quran, which is corrupted to protect the Quran. So. Are you saying you know what I have an idea? What about you make a video, you buy a Bible, you know, and you bring a goat. If the goat eat the whole Bible, it's mean the whole Bible is corrupt. And I guarantee you she will eat it. Because goat they eat they eat they eat papers, they eat any papers around them. What do you think? And this is how you can prove, but I want you to do this. I want you to put the Quran and the Bible next to each other. And they bring the goat. If the goat eat only the Bible, brother, then the Bible is the corrupt one and millions of people will watch your video if the goat did not eat the Quran and eat the Bible alone But if the goat eat the Quran and the Bible, that's mean a problem brother. What do you think? Why you why are you comparing that with Allah sending one goat to eat the Quran? Oh, so you are saying to me your God Allah he sent one goat army to protect the Quran No you are, you, you are saying to me, Allah, He sent one goat. So you are saying to me that goat only is the one is a specialist with eating the corrupt Quran. And there's no other goat can do that. So you are saying to me, this is maybe an angel goat or what? 
Yeah. I'm just saying he ate it with the uh, with, with the uh, will of Allah. Okay, but this is the plan of Allah. Well, the goat is a goat, and Allah now he can uh, you can uh, you can pray to Allah. You know, eat seven ajwa. And ask Allah, say takbir, Allahumma, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, you know, those things you Muslims you say before you kill people. And then ask Allah to make the goat eat the corrupt book. Before we what? Ask Allah, invoke Allah to, uh, to, to ask the goat to, cor to eat the, the corrupt one only. What? What? Hello? Hello. Yes. I, I I don't hear you, my friend. You know what? I'm going to change the topic for you. You said the Bible is corrupted, correct? Yes. Okay. What is the name of the Bible? Bible of Allah. Okay. Yeah. What is the name of the Bible of Allah, which is corrupted? Injil. Injil. That's wonderful. How come the Bible of Allah name is a Greek? It's not Greek. It is a Greek. Injil is a Greek word, my friend. Uh, how do you say gospel in Arabic? Uh, we, we don't say in Arabic. We say Injil too. It's a Greek yeah. word. It's a Greek word. <laughs> my friend, exactly. Thank you very much. So for us, because we are reading the Greek Bible, we don't have a Greek Arabic. We don't have an Arabic Bible. This is a translation. This is something new. So we have the Greek or uh, uh, Bible and we have the Aramaic. So if we are reading from the Greek Bible, we call it Injil. Yes. Okay. So why Allah? Why Allah? Why Allah? He is using the Greek word to call the book which is His book. Allah was a Greek. No. Okay. Did Allah send people Jesus? Went, Hold on. Did maybe, Allah? Did, uh, okay. Me, no. Don't tell me. Maybe. Don't tell me. Maybe the goat will be upset. <laughs> Uh, oh no, the, the goat is watching. Will eat you. The goat will eat you. Trust me. Hold on. Why Allah? Why Allah? He called his book Injil, which is this is a Greek word. If Jesus was sent only to the Jews, as you Muslim says, because I'm Allah has sent the Quran in Arabic because it was so easy for Quran for the Muhammad and his followers and his companions to to learn instead of learning a did, did I did I hear you saying easy did you, did I hear you saying easy can you read the Quran for me in Arabic what what you just is said that, just... that Allah he sent the Quran in Arabic and to make it easy but the Injil is not Arabic the Injil is a Greek word and the Torah is not Arabic so now I'm asking you as long you said Allah he sent the Quran in Arabic to make it easy so no, do you know it. Arabic do you know hey, Arabic do you know Arabic I'm my friend saying maybe Maybe he sent the Quran in Arabic to so that I so that uh, the comp uh, the companions of Muhammad don't mm. have to learn a new language. If 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 this is deep, my friend, this is deep. Okay, hold on. But here, Allah He sent the to, the the Injil to Jesus in Hebrew, or He sent it in the Greek. I don't know. The word Injil is Greek, so now the the the, the Hebrew, the Israeli, have to learn the Greek. Why, why Allah is doing that? Yes, but the Quran is different. Okay, you are saying to me that when Jesus, he started preaching the word of Allah, he told his disciple, before you join me, go to school, learn the Greek so we can talk together. Did Allah touch Jesus Greek too, or he was speaking Hebrew? Yes. He was what? Yes, what? He was uh, speaking here, also Hebrew. Also Hebrew, which how many languages he speak? Uh, he speaks Hebrew, he speaks Greek, he speaks Arabic, so... Uh... How many languages your prophet speak? Oh, yeah, also he speaks Arabic. Thank you. Wow, this is four languages according to this Abdul. So how many languages your prophet speak? Why are you comparing that with Jesus? You, you, uh, we can, we're trying to find out the madness of Islam. I mean, what, the God of Islam, why he made Jesus speak four languages, as you said, and Muhammad, he don't even know how to write his name. Jesus was also Ill illiterate, so Jesus was illiterate. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Look like this God Allah, He sent only illiterate prophet. Uh -huh. My friend, I, I, I like you. I want you to, uh, 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 I want to meet you, man. 
do, do, which, which university you teach in I want to join you your live? classroom let me where, let me you see you uh, as, as long as long you are here with us and I want to take advantage of your intelligence which is very special I find it very special you know Allah himself where he is located right now above the seven heavens above the seven heavens and where yeah. is okay where is that if above the seven heaven on his throne on his throne and how many animals they are carrying his throne animals yeah what the fuck are you talking about here we go he keep mentioning there's the no name animal. of his prophet or friend there's no animal okay the, uh, so what what is carrying the throne of allah according to you the angels will carry the throne of allah but they are not carrying it carrying okay. it right now they are not carrying it right now yes. okay hold on which interpretation you like me to show you that those angels they look weird they have look of animals which interpretation you like me to show you yes. chapter 69 verse number 17 which interpretation you like me to show you I don't care what the tafsir says you don't care what tafsir says why are you racist because these were are you racist be honest with me are you racist do you like do you hate chocolate yes you hate chocolate see you hate you hate dark color I see I can't tell my friend. this is the logic of the Muslims so my friend yes. we in order to understand the Quran then we have to read what your prophet said don't you agree no no so how we will understand what this verse mean just read it and if you don't understand then no then you can understand but the Quran isn't it the Quran says nobody understand the Quran of Allah in some verses in the one verse it says but in another verse it says that it is clear oh so you are saying to me there's a contradiction now one verse says the Quran is a clear and one verse is saying the Quran is not a clear which one we should accept only Allah understands that only Allah understand that guys you see when when the Muslim they find the contradiction in the Quran they they come and they say only Allah understand the contradiction but you just say to me one verse says the Quran is a clear and one verse says the Quran nobody understand it except Allah which one we should what what anyway my friend I I cannot continue with you because the goat is waiting for me outside and I'm going to make a video about the goat eating the Quran and the Bible and uh, uh, let us hope that uh, is going to eat the Bible only and you know what I am not going to put any spice in the top of the books no hot paper nothing I mean equal. my friend just go, just go just go give me a headache hey people <clears throat> don't forget to subscribe don't call me man man give me a break at least give me a break from you I mean come on let me breathe <laughs> uh, <coughs> Hello, <laughs> mute YouTube, please. Hello, yes, yes, yes Christian Prince. Hello. Hello, yes, my friend, I hear you. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. Can you mute YouTube, please? Yes, okay, go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Are you a Muslim, my friend? No, I'm not. Why not? You don't want to have some versions? No, I, I'm Christian. My friend, let me convince you. If you convert to Islam right now and say Shahada, Allah will make your private part English and you can fight <laughs> enemies with it. Actually, I receive a contract from a big known company for cable. They said to me they want to okay. sign a contract with me after I convert to Islam and I go to heaven to use my private part as a cable between two galaxies to uh, connect the internet. No, sir. I am good Christian. All right. I would never convert it. Never. No problem. So, what do you want to say to me, my friend? Why you are calling? Uh, my, my, I have a question. Why the Muslims hmm. won't believe you are reading, talking about their book, but they don't want to understand? I, 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 I watch your videos, and I can't imagine they are sleepy. Don't no. understand. My you, friend, a person. A person he is saying that his God he sent that God to eat the Quran to protect the Quran and you want him to believe I mean this is their mentality what you can say I mean uh, the, 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 the God even the God Allah he sent the God to protect the Quran what I can say 
you know but there's they, they call but, you. no but my friend so, there's many there's many muslims they leave islam I, if you see if you see my skype if you see my facebook i get hundreds of muslims saying to me and actually even some of them sometimes they get brave and they call and they say we are out of islam and you can watch many videos so no they leave islam but you know uh, uh, trust me there's many muslims who are watching us right now they are saying to themselves what a garbage and they but are leaving uh, now. yes 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 i i know i know but uh, mm, the problem is the muslims uh, they call you in order to protect the quran they don't care if it's false they call you the, in order to protect it mm. even if you tell the truth you tell the truth you tell the truth to people but they don't believe but no 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 this is not a bad thing this is a good thing because they you see no no, no they, they no. call you i don't agree with you I, no problem so what that's that's normal i mean you believe in the religion even if it's wrong you, you know this is your religion you have to defend it this is not this is not wrong really the wrong is after we show them all the stupid things and still they insist to be stubborn and to to go in denial so the question here is why muslims don't admit that this is a stupid book the fact they do but my friend when you attack islam a muslim he will feel like you just said that he is literally a fool you gave him a certification that he was a fool all his life believing in stupidity so he will be upset he will be angry and this is very normal but sooner or later they will leave islam my friend don't worry about it all right my friend i can't keep you long so if we can have muslims to call us no problem thank you for calling my friend actually i'm done for today with the receiving calls we don't want to take more Islam is literally a certified false religion. Hey, by the way, don't forget to subscribe and unsubscribe. And I will tell you the wisdom behind that. Because the brother, the prophet of Allah, he says that the bad deeds will be erased by the good deeds. I mean, look at the logic. Brother, I will go and rape a woman and then I will make donation, brother. <laughs> smart, very smart. Have you ever heard of such a religion? Bad deed erased by the good deeds? Erased? So, brother, subscribe and unsubscribe. Subscribe if you are a Muslim. This is a bad deed. And subscribe is a good deed. Here we go. Bingo. <laughs> the special intelligence of Islam. Who can come with this? Unless he is super super intelligent. My friend, I really, really feel sorry for you. It is unlucky day for Allah and Muhammad that I am exist. Your God is in a very, very bad shape. And each time we read his words, we have nothing to say except we love so i hope that people they are really learning how to show the world that this is an official stupid religion and you have to be officially out of your mind in drugs hashish to believe in such a cult actually islam is a religion of hashish have you ever imagined yourself going to the heaven of Allah and this God he promised me a bracelet in my leg? What? Yes, brother. Allah will give us a bracelet made of gold. Mean! All my life, all my life, I wanted to wear a bracelet, brother. Finally, brother, I'm going to wear a bracelet and I'm going to sit in the top of the couch. This is heaven? Brother and sisters, make some donation for me, brother. So I'm going right now and I will buy a bracelet of gold and green garment and I will buy a couch. And here we go. I am in heaven. This is a promise of God. At least say to us, big screen TV, fast internet, uh, Xbox uh, 2, or I don't know, like uh, what they call them, PlayStation. I mean, give us something. What? Bracelet and couch? 
and all of us in heaven will wear one clothes it's called the green stabrak made in Iran this is the most boring heaven ever a brother and sister in the heaven of Allah brother we are going to recline in the couches brother very beautiful couches <laughs> this is heaven <laughs> and brother in the heaven we have only one kind of buffet only bird meat there is no beef there is no goat there is no lamb only bird meats diet the diet of Allah my friend are you serious of mimma yashtahun Mm. I'm really, really, really disappointed. I thought this will be an open buffet and we will have a lot of good food. There's no shrimp, there is no beef, there is no steak, there is no sausages, only bird meat. What the heck? What is that? Mean, 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 mean. By the way, I don't say thank you for those who make donation because I know that you don't. You are not waiting for me to say thank you. But let me thank you in Islamic way, brother. Do you know that the Prophet of Allah he refused to speak to people unless they make donation first? Yes, yes, brother, yes. You cannot talk to the prophet unless you make a donation first. I should make that too. Christian prince should make a rule. You cannot call me or listen to me unless you make a donation. Charity, brother, charity. Have you ever heard of such a prophet? He will not talk to you unless you pay him. Man. That's amazing, beautiful. He must be a decent man of God. He is, you know, he gave his time just for us. All what you need to do is just pay him. You pay him, he speak to you. It's like a Pepsi Cola machine. You put the coins there or the phone. You know the phone? You put the coins? Hmm. Oh, amazing prophet. Before you see the prophet, before you see the prophet, you have to provide the prophet with money so he can meet you. I mean, obviously, this prophet is not is not a scam. He don't want your money. I know. You see all the verses in the front of us on the Quran. It's really crazy. We will show you some examples. Oh, who you believe? Oh, mommy. Oh, who you believe? When you cancel the messenger in private, spend something. You see, in the Middle East, we don't say something. We say something like shampoo. We don't say shampoo. We say shampoo. So if you own a grocery store and a Middle Eastern guy like me, Arab guy, came to your store and he said to you, I want shampoo, there's two things you don't ask him what do you mean and what kind because all shampoo for us is one kind it doesn't matter for cats for dogs just give him shampoo don't tell him what kind he don't understand just give him shampoo okay so now Allah Prophet he is giving us a shampoo of his choice before you see the shampoo of the Prophet you have to pay him literally you have to pay him I mean this is how it work He's a prophet. He's a specialty. He have a clinic. It's called the Prophet Hoodie Clinic. <laughs> Unbelievable. I, I want to be a prophet. But I, by the way, I applied to be a prophet just yesterday, but they told me I'm missing a lot of requirement. First of all, I like to have a lust for children. I like to like, I should like children in the age of six years old, like Aisha. I should be accused by my companion that I stole an underwear, like the Prophet Muhammad. I should put eyeliner three times a day. I should wear my wife's skirt like the Prophet Muhammad. I should kiss men under their belly like Prophet Muhammad. 
I should kill and destroy villages and burn them and even dig the grave of people looking for jewelries like Prophet Muhammad peace be upon and because a lot of my qualification is not there they refuse me to be a prophet and this is the reason true reason I am NOT a Muslim prophet until now otherwise I'm really qualified but as you see there's a lot of a qualification is not there people do you remember what we start talking about we have a brother his name is Jay Smith I would like you to support his videos that's why today I start my title with that and you have a link down in the info for his channel what about we subscribe and we share his videos this brother he is a wonderful man he is a warrior who support Christ he is spending a lot of his time he's an old man he spent his life defending the faith so let us be the warriors of Christ and appreciate those who stand for us it's a shame that a person like this man he make a video and after a week or two weeks we he have uh, uh, you know uh, look this is a month ago November 28 November 28 and the video how many of you how many of you look oh, is commercial after all this time 1666 the Antichrist is fighting the, the fighting us my friend let us support those who stand for the truth they deserve our support i don't know the person by the way i never met just respect i never spoke to him i don't know him but i know he's a good man and i could not believe it that a man like this he is not getting our support why why muslim they support their stupid videos they right away when a muslim he see a, a video uh, uh, fighting uh, for Islam right away to give a like right away in a second you don't even think about it he shared the videos he subscribed on a Saturday afternoon and we're not talk come here to talk about the music or about the church and as you can see the cameras moving all over the place because my cameraman is having the jillies right now what we are talking about is the person of Jesus Christ and this series have been on the person of Jesus and the Muslims have always claimed that they have the real Jesus. But if you're going to ask who is the real Jesus. You anyway, I don't know this, uh, this brother, but I know he defend the truth and he exposed Islam. I did not talk about him. I did not really know uh, his background. Uh, I don't know much about him, but uh, I, I judge, you know, we know a person by his fruits. And the fruit I see until now is wonderful. So please subscribe, support him, share his videos, and do what you need to do. So now we want to say to you, thank you very much for being here, and thank you for those who made donation. And I hope that many, they will watch this video. And I hope that you guys, you will download it too. You see, I am different from others. People, they get upset if you take their videos not in the case of christian prince feel free to download my video share it with your friends and you are more than welcome to post it anywhere you want i am not doing for this for my own i am doing it for the sake of my lord this is not about me this is not about you this is about the truth and the truth will set you free we don't want to work for ourselves those who work for themselves they receive the glory of themselves the lord he said to them Depart from me. I do not know you Even though they say Lord Lord So let us together bring Muslims out of Islam save them. We love the Muslims. I don't hate the Muslims Muslim They think I hate them. I would never hate a Muslim Even they call me names. They threaten me. They want to kill me, etc. It doesn't matter We don't hate you my friend and we will not for a very simple reason. I Am a follower of the Messiah not because I am a good perfect man who will not go into hate but because Christ made of me a better person Christ is the one preventing me from hating you and I will not hate you so thanks to Christ who made me love everybody including the Muslims and we want to share the love of Christ with everybody in this world 
you don't believe in Jesus this is your business but don't be violence and don't be hateful hate bring nothing but poison to your house people who believe in hate they die with their hate it's a poison killing you within yourself you are the first one to be hurt by your hate hate is not for your benefit and this is the wisdom of Christ thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again subscribe tell your friends about our channel and this is a Christian Prince wish you at the best of a Christmas and the best of the new year to come to you by the blessing of the Lord the Messiah thank you very much